Guys, I cannot upload a four hour duels run to YouTube. Five hours actually. Later in the void. <laughs> I can't do it. It's, I, I need to lose. Please, God, just let me die. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Let's just do priest. Let's do Moonwell Priest. I think we're gonna just want Void is fine. Uh, so anyway, we want, we want Sunwell. The whole point is to try a thief, uh, thief, kind of Burgle Priest, maybe Sticky Fingers type stuff. We're looking for Crystalline Oracles, Psychic Conjurers, Mysterious Visitors. This one actually doesn't work with Sunwell because it's not copied, but you know, still I think on theme at least a little here. Still plays to sticky fingers, still a real nice value generator. Uh, we could run Benedictus. I mean, it's kind of weird, but I don't actually hate it that much, maybe. Oh, golden Benedictus, though. It's really more about value generation. How do we actually end the game, though, right? Value alone doesn't always end games. I mean, value in combination with, like, survivability, just finding the right sorts of cards fatigue you know those are all things that might help us win so so maybe having some life gain would be important to make sure we can just grind people down we can certainly run a lot of card draw we're gonna run benedictus so that's not a risk our hero power two is good at that we need a lot of board clears if we're gonna if we're gonna run that route we could still maybe do the anduin just having you know some anduin pings just play two or three per turn eventually still ends the game right still ends the game maybe we'll get stargazing anything that really supports the hero power in that case we don't have what's his name right there's no there's no zero mana guy i think we need more board clears oh we probably want to run like shard that's a good card psychic stream's awesome anduin's a board clear we can maybe like clean the scene uh hey maca cow dude that's really nice to say we could do a theatar maybe Palm reading is a good card to have, but we're having so much generation already from opponent's stuff. I really want like Crystal and Oracle. I don't think that's good enough. This is a weird deck, guys. <laughs> this is very weird. I don't know, man. This is really high cost right now. Like it definitely plays to the theme I want. I love the theme of like Sunwell, Thievery, Burgle, Value stuff, but I don't know, man. It's gonna be hard to win like this. We'll try though. That's never stopped us before. <laughs> Difficulty is not a metric that I value much in duels. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna ignore any difficulty problems and uh, just move forward. But I didn't know anything ahead of time, by the way, guys. I was not in the loop on any of this stuff. Usually for the bigger, crazier uh, reveals, they don't really involve. Uh, Content creators as much, I've noticed. They try to keep it a little closer to the chest so that they don't have as many eyeballs on stuff. I did actually get invited to something and I had to turn it down. So I might have known had I gone, but but for now, I didn't know anything about Death Knight. Every, every ounce of speculation we had, we got almost exactly right, by the way. Even down to the hero power, we had a pretty good guess on the hero power, which is kind of crazy. Like, I feel like we got like everything right. They gave just enough little breadcrumbs and hints, right? That we tracked it all down via like random tweets and and uh, little hints. Not just me, you know, individually, but as a, as a community, both local to me and the Hearthstone community at large. Everybody just solved Death Knights, man. Pretty cool. Can you guys hear the game okay? I feel like there's extra audio happening right now. Maybe not. Maybe you guys can hear it. All right, we got a Fog Sail Freebooter in Shaman. So healing here does seem like it's going to matter a lot. Sunwell already? Sure, I just want to see it, man. Neutral collectible spell. What 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 world do we live in? How cool is that? How cool is that? Uh. How do we use Death Knight Heroes before the release? Uh, they brought back the old ones, so you can just log in and play them. Just everybody has them. It's, it's so easy. Oh, wow. Two mana for this. That's cool. Do we just... I mean, let's just get it even cheaper. guess I could have made all these cheaper, though. Oh, dang it. That's even worse. Oh, I'm stupid. No, I take it back. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean, this is also going to make it really cheap, too. So next turn, it'll be zero. I don't know which is better, I guess. 
you want to spend that mana up front or, or discount five things after the fact i don't know whatever it's fine it works it's fine so i don't know if you guys noticed they're they're doing that like um death knight like preview tournament thing that was announced but that's going to be announced on the this the that was on like the 16th or 17th or something uh i love how i'm being coy about it <laughs> like a, yeah maybe i'll be participating i don't know but anyway they announced that death knight thing on the 16th and 17th death knight show match uh but maybe that means we're gonna see all the death knight cards by then typically whenever they have like gameplay stuff like that we um we've already seen all the cards by that stage you know Oh, a fun little animation. Nothing too spicy, but not bad. <sighs> um, definitely not worth a void yet. Devouring Plague seems a hair early, doesn't it? All of these seem a little early. Really? Huh. Well, okay. I don't know. It's worth a little there. Nice little swing, I guess. Uh, what does the sun well do? Oh, it's already in HSV play. Nice. Uh, fills your hands with random spells. It costs one less for each other card in your hand. So uh, it's kind of like a counterbalanced value generator type dealio, type dealio. Um, gosh, we're gonna burn a lot of cards by heal. I mean, I got a Benedictus coming, so it's, I mean, maybe we're okay to play a Theotar and steal some damage or something right now, heal next turn. I kind of hate giving up any given turn on a heal, but if we're stealing damage, it might be worth it. Uh, Wackanole is more damage long term, but the Geyser is more damage immediately. I guess the Wackanole is maybe a little better for me. Give them the crappy Witchwood Apple there. Even just getting Theotar on board potentially heals me three because of the Lightning Bolt here. But, uh, still gonna take a mountain of damage. I don't know if my hero power is gonna keep up, right? I guess I could be dead if they, uh,. If everything went face and they had some good spell in hand, right? So it could be at three right now. I mean, we know they have that uh, deal two, so <laughs> I'm pretty much dead, dang it. Why is it so hard to stay alive against this deck? Do I have any cheap healing? Not left, do I? No. Psychic heal is something, I guess. A taunt and a heal together is not bad. Gift is a nice heal. We're going to burn a card. I mean, I can beat fatigue sort of kind of with benedictus but they're out of cards too and i don't really have mana to play benedictus so i don't know that seems tough but nine's a reasonable health total after getting through the tempest fury i'd say so that's not bad oh i forgot about that earth shock we saw that shoot i guess no getting around that anyway then uh okay so i'm alive here but a lot of totems to deal with uh Gift, heal is another heal six. That's pretty good. Oh, hit the taunt totem with your buff. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can silence here and trade here, maybe. That's fine. I don't need to draw cards anyway, so. Actually, don't want to draw cards anyway. <sighs> what the heck am I doing with the rest of my turn, though? I guess I could go like Mysterious Visitor, Wackanole. That's three mana, four mana, six mana, seven mana, yeah. Maybe. Almost in fatigue, though. Which is scary. I am a friend of Messiah. Wait. Oh, this isn't copied. It's... Oh, I forgot it's not actually copied. It's... It's stolen, so it doesn't work. I, I hate that. I mean, I, I get it. It's, it is the rules. It's doing what it says it does. I get it. I just, I hate it. Um, okay. Do I ever silence here? Is there going to be a better silence target? This actually does activate off the whack and all, but I think I just value the 2-2 on board right now more, honestly. Does trading ever help me at all? I don't think so. Hopefully they don't have a way to utilize these minions. Valued hero power over whack and all. So, we'll see. Kind of just on a razor's edge here. Oh, that's a way to utilize their minions, sadly, for probably lethal, right? With Savage Roar and or Bloodlust stuff. Can they do Bloodlust and Hero Power, though? Not yet, right? So maybe not. Savage Roar, Hero Power enough. That's four and four. No, not quite. 
I was just fireballing off. Oh, storm strikes. That's the same. I don't even need the Zephyrus. Why? <laughs> Why bother with the Zeph? That's just a bait, dude. <laughs> they added it anyway. Just a bait. Hey, Shinky, dude. Thanks to the Prime sub. You guys have dropped some bombs on subs tonight. Thank you. Sticky Fingers is passive number one for sure. Number two, we haven't gotten that far, but any kind of spell discount would be nice. Cadgars. Thank God for Floor is Lava, man. That's going to be really good for me. Thank God for that. Um, I mean, Staff of Pain's not really good for us. We do have a few shadow spells. I guess we take Crystal Gem. I, I don't know. It's not even good either, really. Really just wanted Sticky Fingers and Sticky Fingers only. Lyra's fun for our deck. Definitely fits the theme. I don't know why I just did a little beatboxing, but enjoy. The land is plus one in rogue. Interesting. Huh. Again, you know, we're just trying to outvalue, out heal, out survive. Radiant Elemental is not great for that game plan. Necessarily. Definitely don't care about tempoing it too much. Ooh. That's kind of spicy. Okay. I like the look of this unwell. It looks awesome. Uh, I don't know how good it is, though. Uh, as a world famous streamer, how many weddings do you get invited to? Uh, no, nah, none really. <laughs> I don't think people want me at their wedding. <laughs> it's that weird guy from the, from the YouTubes. Uh, yeah, basically I, somebody got it for free. Who was it? Somebody lucked out. Do I think Death Knight will get a duels hero? I sure hope so, man. Would be really, really sad if they didn't. I don't know if it's going to be like a new one or... Well, I mean, I guess it'd have to be new to some extent. Uh, I can make that two mana. No, I can't make that two mana. Nope, 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 nope. You about saw what I did there. I about did mountain giant plays. <laughs> I about did mountain giant plays. Nope, nope. Coin does not make that cheaper, bro. Uh, I can coin it if I want and get another spell out of it. And then read an elemental. Thinking about just tempoing a harvester of envy. I don't really care that much about stealing the opponent's stuff as a rogue. I just need some stats on board. I think this is totally fine. I think anything else would be overthinking it. I won't invite you to my wedding, but I will invite you to my divorce. Oh, perfect. You can watch it go up in flames. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's what I'm used to in Hearthstone, so it's a very natural fit. <laughs> Watching plans go up in flames. That's a daily occurrence around these parts. All right, uh, Radiant Elemental Sunwell doesn't really make any sense. I mean, maybe we just Sunwell now. We have, uh, you know, we have a few cards. We're going to get, what, four cards? We nothing wrong with Hero Power either, though. I don't know what the right breakpoint is on the Sunwell once again. Without illuminating it, it definitely feels a little more awkward and clunky. Uh, Mysterious Visitor, really bad right now. Because I don't, I got a feeling this deck ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I don't know why, but I got a feeling we ain't making anything happen with this one. Feels real bad so far. Plague of Death. All my removals are really expensive. I didn't maybe get enough cheap removals, huh? I mean, Sunwell into Palm Reading would be awesome, but I'm only going to get two cards, right? Um, This is definitely worth it for the hand space aspect. It's only three cards, man. Is this really worth the trouble? Oh, I don't really know. Oh, they're so cheap. I was going to palm reading them, but they're so cheap anyway. <sighs> it's actually kind of bad. <sighs> I wanted to palm reading them into, you know, a nice, cheap, playable sort of line. And instead, it's garbage. In the name. This your great I mean, it's, it's fine. As long as I don't play Dinomancy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just dodge the Dinomancy, right? Uh, all right, Psychic Scream at five could be good. I mean, we're okay with that. I don't mind. I don't mind screaming stuff into their deck. That's not a big deal. We can deal with it later. I just need time more than I need value. Anything I can just take it right back with Archbishop or Arch Benedictus or copy it back anyway. Blood sales big. They're killing the elemental though, that's nice. That does mean we're buying some health just on its existence alone. A lay fighter again is huge. I 
Can't psychic scream anymore with a dude dead. Shard here saves me quite a bit of life, actually. Maybe heal into shard <clears throat> to start. In that case, I don't think we can identity theft. I think we need to remove damage here. Tempo the visitor. Yes, it'll make these cheaper next turn, but I think the tempo is worth more. Ultimately, they seem at least a little bit thoughtful of my minions. It might heal four. Uh, they ignore it. That's no big deal. We'll try to recover off the psychic scream next turn. Theotar the Dinomancy to them, huh? You guys are that excited about it? <laughs> I think they would just say, okay, here's a card I won't play. Now this looks like a good Psychic Scream at least, but sadly the 2-3 did not uh, distract. I thought it might absorb one of these hits, but alas, it does not. Is me going down to eight here, is that gonna be okay? It's not like I have a choice in the matter, so I think it has to be okay. Good news is they're only drawing one of those per turn. Most of them aren't that inherently threatening on their own. I guess the Puffer Fist is kind of scary. Don't technically have good removal for even the, the Blood Cell Raider, to be honest, right now. A Shadow Word Void or something would change that. The Raider, too, at least ordering here is helpful. Wow. They, they just get the pirates right back. Okay. <laughs> That's annoying, I guess. I wasn't anticipating that. I need, like, Incriminating Psychic. Gift of the Nard is really good, too. Okay. Let's draw some cards first. Because we like healing anyway. Illuminate. Void seems actually pretty good. Yeah, we can do that. Anduin gives us a little life, but we lose our hero power. So I think that part of Anduin sucks. Here, I think we start with this. Uh, I can actually kill that 2-3. Is it worth it? Probably, right? Because they have the follow-up buffs we saw. It's going to hit me anyway, so. Just get a little tempo here and... Hope for the best. Void incoming next turn. So I can hero power void, remove a threat, heal up a little bit. Hero power first, see what we find. I guess if they go big enough, Plague of Death is pretty reasonable too. Still at 10 right now. I forgot to play Dinomancy. I mean, is there some way for me to find a beast? Could it ever be the right play? I'm curious. <clears throat> Do you think other uh, classes could use a unique mechanic like Death Knight? Uh, yeah, I think it'd be cool. I don't know if they're going to or not, but I think it'd be cool. Zeddy is getting blacklisted again since his video mentioned a leak. Oh, I talked about leaks a lot. I, I mean, I don't think that alone would be a reason to get blacklisted. But I don't, is he, I don't know what blacklisted means. Is he actually blacklisted? He, he revealed the duels. Uh, he did a big duels reveal last expansion. I thought he was on pretty good terms, as far as I knew. All right, pretty big board. Is that Plague of Death worthy? We're still at seven. Void definitely does not feel sufficient, right? I think we have to. Seven's not safe, but it's not terrible. And we're not dead on board or anything, so we'll try our best. It was a specific leak, I think, that was lesser known. Like what? I feel like I covered all this stuff. Are you just like making up a theory here, man? Or is this like real? Like, did you hear this from him? Or I mean, what, what's, what's the... What's the basis for this theory? The philosophy I take with leaks and does not seem to be an issue with Blizzard is that if it's a public information, like in other words, you know, I, I've never and would never leak something that is privately known to me, but once something is public information, like if, if somebody else leaks it, if Blizzard themselves accidentally leak it, then at that point, is when it becomes a fair game. Now that said, I, I do still... Oh, this raids are scary. I do still pay heed to, you know, like, timing a little bit. Like, if it's... If, you know, so I'm not going to break something two hours before the announcement's going to happen anyway. If it's like, you know, they sometimes, like, uh, publication will post the expansion stuff two hours early. Like, you know... Clearly, that's fine. I'll wait a couple hours. If it's going to hurt another creator, I won't cover leaks. I did accidentally last time, but I tried to hold leaks for Fino's card reveal, for instance. Like, there are obviously nuances within that, but 
if, if something's publicly information, I, I feel like it's just disrespectful to the viewer to not acknowledge it, you know? I don't necessarily want to go out of my way to showcase stuff, but if somebody's in chat asking me about a thing they saw that is public information that's all over Reddit and all over Twitter, I'm not just going to pretend it doesn't exist, right? I have to show respect and honor the viewer there, if that makes sense. Mentioned about being some Battlegrounds leak. Oh, I don't know anything about Battlegrounds leaks. So that may be different. I don't know. That would be different than stuff I've known. Okay. So Benedictus heal here does get me. It just leaves so much damage out though. But healing is like so much fatigue anyway. Benedictus shadow word void leaves four damage. I'm... I'm not technically dead, but a lot of top decks would, would more or less end me. Could I maybe go incriminating Psychic here instead, right, and play off that? But I'm just dying to fatigue so quickly. Can I can I swing back hard enough? I mean, Anduin's another way for me to gain life without... They're only drawing one card, right? So this might be okay. This might actually be okay. I don't know. I'm gonna flip the script here a little bit. Ooh, that might kill me. I just realized that might enable the eviscerate combo. Shoot. I don't know if it's actually right to bounce that because I may be dead to eviscerate now. Because eviscerate fatigue kills me. It's pretty unlikely to be exactly eviscerate, right? But uh, not impossible. One out of eight. That's probably worth it, because I need to push damage, so I actually think that's probably still worth it. That's probably a worthwhile exchange. So this deals an additional two. I can also Benedict his heal now as well if I want to gain a little life. That'll be a pirate, not an eviscerate, so that's fine. They're at 10. Oh, freebooter to clear a guy. Okay, that makes sense. So I can deal three and two is five and two is only seven. I guess the question though is like, if I play the Anduin and heal five, is that enough to like feel safe? Or am I better off going for Benedictus heal to heal three, but not take fatigue. So it's kind of like healing five as well. <sighs> I really just don't feel like there's a good play here just really need to dodge that eviscerate for like five minutes too you know need a one mana play here that's good oh okay not good maybe but a play now here's a real question do i hit face put him to 10 8 i'm left behind with a four and a two is six and and one would be eight it's worse against a south sea captain am i dead if they play south sea captain hit hit and hit for six no i'm not dead to south sea captain I think I go face. Am I still dead to eviscerate? I'm kind of maybe always dead to eviscerate, but... Oh no, it's not comboed, so maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see. See how it goes. This game is scary. Like, how is this so close? <laughs> Down to the wire, man. Oh! No! Oh no, I'm not dead to captain, I said. No, I'm not dead to captain. I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, I guess it depends on what they draw. That's a pirate. Could it deal one damage? Or not oh no why is it why is it targeting that what is that oh that's fine in its own right but again scary uh south sea charger guy weapon guy another south sea captain guy there's a few things that are lethals now it's a really good sequence of draws i kind of forgot about them drawing a second card to enable potentially more more damage okay that's not more damage because they already attacked with a weapon right yeah, okay, that's fine. I think this is just a lethal setup then. We're good, right? They only have six. Woo! They have to trade into, like, Benedictus here to, to stay alive, but even that's actually not enough, we know, because of Anduin. Um, all right. Anduin hits for two, and the dudes hit for two. Perfect. Wow. Woo! Scary game, dude. <laughs> Barely got there, man. I don't even know if we played it correctly the whole time, but it did okay. It did okay. It did okay. I think I think we take those wins. Man. Spooky, spooky, spooky stuff. 
Uh, yeah, henchman's a free draw. That's fine. Um, don't really like silence package. Don't like random garbage cards. Healing stuff? Sure, I don't know. We, we want to be a control deck at some level. Some healing at some level. Another scary rogue. Um, Sunwell Early with Palm Reading. I mean, kind of cool. We definitely don't need Lyra, though. Yeah, Holy Passives with Sunwell is actually pretty good. Yeah, maybe we could have gone more of a full Holy route instead of a uh, Thief route in hindsight. Because, well, we didn't get Sticky Fingers. I think if we got Sticky Fingers, we'd be happier to be a Thief deck. But now that we're not a Thief deck, maybe a full Holy deck could be cool, too. Summon a, you know, 9-9 nine, nine when you play your Sunwell so that it's not like a downturn. Then again, it's a little bit harder to keep your hand empty to get enough return on your value sometimes for that. I am a bear off. We own this school. Hello. What is it you ask? Bizarre burglary. He might have he might have Sunwell too. What was that? It's kind of cool. I'm going to use this before again. I just don't know. Well, I don't know. Next turn getting four cards off of it into the palm reading the turn after. That's maybe okay. I think that's chill. I really liked this a lot better when we were illuminating it though. I got to say Regis, what's the best planet other than Earth? Planet pizza. Delicious, nutritious uh, food items. And lots of toys. Lots and lots of toys. All right, let's do it. This is going to burn a card pretty much always, but we're willing to take that risk for the sun well. Cycle of Hatred, do process, bouncing blade, and runed orb. Fun, okay. So now we can palm reading these, maybe play a rune orb immediately. Probably not a due process quite yet. Feels wrong. Classic Toy Story reference. Thank you. I'm glad somebody got it. <laughs> I was going to leave it and then I decided to add the thing about the toys to really drive it home, you know. Wanted to really hammer it in there. Uh, Desperate Prayer. I mean, this rogue's definitely not as smorky. So I don't think Desperate Prayer matters as much. Maybe just a thought steal for more, even more value later. Rune orb into double cross. Guess I can finish on a gift of the Naru here if I want, but drown maybe? I don't know. Would I rather have a gift of the Naru or some random card off the top of my deck? Probably the random card off the top of my deck, right? But I already have a lot of resources and I have due process. I think gifts card draw loses a lot of utility and we're only losing one health. So sacrificing one health is probably fine in exchange for cool stuff to draw was nice of the frozen throne in duels before today uh no it's only in because of core you got it right there only thanks to the core set <laughs> bouncing blade on the bubbler <laughs> um okay that's fine i guess it's not like the thing i'm most excited about in the world but it's okay henchman's already pretty big i mean that's fine too maybe this is fine it, it, like it's kind of better against big stuff, but I have the drown anyway, so it's like, who cares? Uh, maybe just take the Anduin to start ending the game sooner. I don't know if we're going to need that much card draw later. Visitor, not really relevant. These are all just random cards, not stuff from their deck. Okay, we have due process, right? We're not going to need our hero power, so Anduin seems pretty good in that regard. And Benedictus will make sure we win in fatigue if I get him down on time, which I think we will. I mean, we'll probably, we're ahead anyway right now. I don't think that's going to change much. So hopefully just outvalue this person who's also trying to be a cool burgle value deck. I don't think our uh, Sunwell was amazing, but it's pretty okay. Uh, Cycle of Hatred's fine, I guess. I kind of have to trade in the 5-5. Five five. I feel a little bad. Maybe just drown this? Peddler's definitely not a bad card for me, and it's a pretty decent removal here too, I'd say. Let's start here and see what happens. Always want to see what's in the box, you know? It's fine. They're going to burn a card off the top. They are done with... Oh, oh, I was going to say, wait a second. Is that a burning a quest reward? But no, it's just the hero power. Uh, double agent burns. Okay, Vanessa burns. That's that's a pretty good burn, actually. Vanessa seems important. Could grab a good card off me, like the Anduin or whatever. 
hoping we're ahead here enough or at least even enough that uh, benedictus feels safe to play which i think will happen most of the time the hero power does clear this thing pretty freely as does that but a three five is not scary i do want to get the benedictus down before they run out of cards i don't think my cards are so much better than their cards on average that i hold it any particular amount of time you know I guess we could Psychic Scream later too, though, and make sure that there's enough stuff. I think that's... I think that's kind of... Kind of a line as well, isn't it? Maybe we just void this guy. Void Northshire. That's fine. Let's, um, let's play to the Psychic Scream Benedictus. I mean, now, again, that's probably going to be lower quality cards on average. Because of, like, random summoned minions and stuff. But I, really, the Benedictus is more about fatigue protection for me than it is about anything else. And I don't need that until it's a problem. So saving that for like a one-two punch later seems okay to me. Seems okay. Do you know there will be any changes to the economy of the game since now we have a ton more cards to unlock every expansion? Uh, I have no idea. I doubt it, though. I don't think they will make it cheaper. I don't know if it's going to be a ton more. I mean, I think this time is going to be a lot more because you got the like extra Death Knight set, but it's only going to be 10 more. That's like, you know, a 9% increase or something. I guess it just depends on your definition of a ton. To me, that doesn't feel like a ton, I would say, but that is certainly up for interpretation. <sighs> Boy. I mean, it's not a bad time to Benedictus, I guess. I was going to wait for the Psychic Stream, but surely if we're ahead by uh you know we're gonna be at 15 to 6 i think that's enough fatigue advantage and this is a fine time to play this we're not under a ton of pressure i mean we're under a little bit of pressure but not a ton not a ton if i don't rip this i am going to burn a card but is the shard of the naru better than a random card from my opponent probably i mean i might burn one of mine too for the record but probably okay oh, oh no that means I have a test in my deck, though. Hopefully I don't burn the test that I chose to burn there. Oh, Cecily's big. Dang, that might be a Psychic Stream worthy. Again, I know I did this in a different order, but the game state changed. There was no need to Psychic Stream there, and it was a safe Benedictus, so you just shift priorities. Now, if I do shuffle my Benedictus in, I'm going to be sad, so I probably need to go ahead and trade this first um just so they don't get it i don't really care if they get extras of these but i do not want them getting an extra benedictus for this fatigue uh sort of battle here create a healing potion to reset there is really nice so we're ahead by um effectively 11 to 5 so six cards extra for fatigue Ugh. I'm a little stressed that I'm always behind on board so far, seemingly. This might be a good cycle of hatred, though. The current shape of this board is perfect for cycle. That is big, though. Shoot, dude, they are not running out of threats at all. Okay, still an insane cycle of hatred. Still an insane cycle of hatred. Okay, that's actually so gross. Plague of Death is going to be good later, too, I suspect. All right, cycle of hatred. Uh, I guess we'll just panda here. I have things you never knew Might have to once again rip a shard. They had a Cecily, they had a, uh, I don't know. I mean, I have Plague of Death if it's a really big problem. I'm going to rip this just to, again, get more cards. Ooh, burning the Drake fire. Yes. Dude, we are getting some clutch burns. Tess gone, Vanessa gone, Drake fire gone. They do have another one here, though. But that alone is not really that scary because these three threes will probably trade in fairly well. And if they don't, I can just Plague of Death. Or maybe actually Anduin will be good now because, uh, yeah, Anduin's going to be perfect. The asymmetry of Anduin here is really, really nice for this particular board state. So that's great. Also just getting some chip damage moving now as well with this board hitting a little bit more. Is that going face? Wow, that actually makes me scared. Adding five life here, though, so hopefully that's okay. They're getting really low. They're suddenly very at risk of dying. <sighs> Godfrey burned again, man. Oh yeah, they're in fatigue too, so they're getting really low. They can't kill me here, they might just be dead. Uh, I have like Conjurer's really cheap, Radiance really cheap, so I have a few hero power cycles. And they're gonna take three off fatigue. 
So I only need to hit twice. So I, unless they heal a bunch here, they're just dead. I have things you never knew you wanted. Yeah, that's not enough. Cool. Well, this is a fun little, you know, mirror match of two Burgle decks. I like this. It's really nice. Any snap or Moonbreaker? No, not tonight. But man, I really had fun playing Moonbreaker last night. I was itching to play after the stream. I was like, I want to play more. I didn't have time tonight or last night or today, but I'm itching to do more. It was really fun. Uh, all right. Almost out of time. Maybe they know they're dead. Are they dead on board? Uh, not exactly, but very dead though. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Don't even need all of this, of course, but. Fatigue was gonna kill them, but so will my face. <laughs> Either way. Woke up today with Shadow Reaper Anwen back in standard. What year is it? I don't know, man. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> it's pre-2020. That sounds kind of nice. Okay, I'm up for heavy armor, honestly. We have a lot of healing. Heavy armor is kind of gross in decks with a lot of healing. Yeah, I think this is gonna be great for us. We have a ton of healing. Priest of the Feast is more healing, honestly. I think we take it, yeah. We we only are now maybe weak to very specific scenarios like uh, Mind Tether Priests and stuff. That's pretty cool, man. Do we keep Sunwell? Yeah, I guess, man. I don't think it's good, but it's why we built the deck, so <laughs> let's do it. I like it. Uh, I want to get the points, though. Yeah, I, what we're saying is... They're probably just playing Keliseth because they want to play Keliseth. I don't know why them playing Keliseth is indicative that you're unable to finish to get the quest on time. I'm, I'm so confused. What about them playing a Keliseth? It tells us anything about your quest progress or is relevant to your quest progress. I don't I don't know. I'm missing some connector here. There's a missing link that I don't understand. It's often the case in my life. <laughs> I'm always missing something, I think. Uh, okay, nothing to do. That's fine. Oh, oh, okay. Your assumption is that nobody would play Keliseth. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know about that. That, that's uh, probably not totally unreasonable. But I saw a couple deck lists already pop up on uh, Twitter suggesting people might want to. Sunwell early, four cards. Uh, it's not great. But what the heck else am I doing? No good plays right now. And, and even after the sun well, I still have no good place. <laughs> I still don't. Oh, there you go. All right. I mean, Ice Barrier is fine. Barricade's fine. Since Demons is very dead, I think. Gives me a couple 1-1s, one I guess, for the record, but not typically too useful. Uh, Shadow Madness here looks pretty okay. Might be better off with Barricade, but I don't know. I do like that armor gain. Not that armor gain is great with heavy armor, but it does feed my Twilight's Call a little bit, which isn't bad. Leaves up a 4-1, but that's really like a 1-1 to me, right? So I don't really care about that. Well, I guess right now it actually is a 4-1 with armor specifically, but... What vegetable should you never bring on a boat? A leek! I was gonna say a potato. What do I know, though? Wave of Apathy, by the way, kind of always just Wave of Apathy. I, I mean, we have a board, obviously, but <laughs> it's, it's kind of dead a lot of the time. Um, I guess if we're going to play Barricade, though, Wave of Apathy, honestly, not bad right now. I don't think Theotar is crazy right now either. There's some bad cards I could give them, I guess. They might have like a Denathrius up there or something, right? Not a Denathrius, but Mita is cool. We'll take a Mita. Um, yeah, they can have the barrier. Honestly, the, the the healing off health for me is going to be so significant that I'm not as worried about armor gain on top of it. It's just not as effective. I, I think I care more about every other card there. <sighs> Pyro, thanks for the bits, by the way. Parthamore, thanks for the bits. I'm not even going to read your joke. It's too bad. <laughs> just no it does not deserve a magnified audience no thank you <laughs> i'm just gonna pass 
Absolutely gonna pass. Wish you the best of luck, though. With all your great jokes. All right, Masked Reveler. All right, that would have been a good wave shadow target. I was thinking they may not have too many. It could have gotten a little greedier, but yeah, that would have been a good one. That's an example of a great one. So that's really only three damage. This seems like a fine time to play the Mita. Mita could represent a billion life for me over the course of this game, right? Hopefully this deck doesn't have some kind of, you know, a Mask of Cthulhu type card, Arcane Missiles. I don't know what it would be. Is there any legendary that does that? Something like an altruist that just like, you know, pings me four or five times. Gidra's, I mean, uh, it's not inherently a problem, I guess. It's kind of two damage per unit instead of one like most units, I suppose, but. Okay, there's that. We're back to full. Oh, that's a good example. Yeah, uh, Hala from Mage pinging me with spells. That could That's exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about, yeah. I could do it. Man, I actually don't have a board clear yet. This, this is a shockingly frustrating board because I don't have a board wipe. This actually hits me for six right now. This, this, or five, I guess. They traded that way, but. Uh actually a little annoying to deal with barricades fine uh i mean we could go like wave of course with just a taunt setup or even multiple taunt setups i guess that's probably not bad honestly just shut down these four attack dudes so they don't take great trades and then develop some taunts i suppose this is a decent stall until i find some removal right we need Psychic Scream, Plague of Death, might need an Anduin later. This is another like Burgle kind of mirror match, by the way. It's a little, a little crazy. Oh, we knew that guy was going to die to that. We saw that in hand earlier, right? Something was going to die to it, so maybe not the end of the world, but... Hey, Pyro with a gifted sub to Mia Khalifa. I've never heard that name before, but... <laughs> I hope they enjoy their sub. I have no, no Mrs. Kilbin. I have no idea what that name means. Don't be silly. Never heard that name before. Uh, Hulharan. Oh, light shower. Big heels there. Okay. It's good for their Twilight Drake, I guess. I mean, I still don't have a removal, so still a little bit of a pickle. She's on Twitch, um, among other sites, yeah. <laughs> All right, another minion here. Ooh, big buffs. Scary. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to speak to that. I wouldn't be able to speak to that at all. I just wouldn't know anything about that. All right. Um, okay. I mean, their hand's not that big right now, so if I could kill that off, that would be pretty nice. I am just not looking at anything exciting to do here, though. I'm hoping to find a good play here. Oh, Zyrella. I mean, that's not usually going to be very good for me, honestly. I think I'm better off with like a Northshire Cleric just drawing right now. I need some cards, right? Uh, Disciple's honestly pretty good. Yeah, not, not for this turn, but for later. It's pretty good. Never go full North Shire, guys. I've done it, though. Wish me luck. <sighs> Alright. Just need some tempo here. Since I don't have good board clears, I have to play for a little bit of tempo, I think. I can go Harvester and steal their Undying Disciple, but it's like, do I really care? Is that really that exciting? I honestly just need to find my Psychic Screams and stuff. <laughs> Disciple into Twilight, by the way, is a little better. That's not too bad, but it's a 1-1, so it doesn't really do that much damage. It's so weird to pass up that Zyrella, but I just, I don't think it offered a lot of upside, you know? They're actually a deck that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me for value because of their hero power. That does make me nervous. Like, will they eventually just overwhelm me in value? It's not like fatigue's a big concern for either of us right now. Oh my god, that is big. That is rather large. <laughs> Oh no! Ugh. Trading here a little, of course, makes sense because you're not doing any damage to my face anyway. Surprised you don't hit the two-three, honestly. Radiant elemental, huh? 
I kind of need to find a shadow word void here. This is a priest card, right? Yeah. Not a shadow word void. Psychic scream is the sort of thing I definitely need, though. I don't know if I. Well, I definitely don't play it right now, but I do need it for later. Um, boy, what a bad turn. Hey, Jay Zyger, what's up, man? What a terrible turn, guys. Oh, shoot. Okay. Psychic Stream next turn to reset's fine. Um, it's all good. This is definitely death value, by the way. They're, they're literally is turning into a lot of value. They've just gotten so many extra cards in hand. I don't even know if that trade's right. I don't think it is, actually. I mean, they could trade it off themselves, so... Depends if I think this is a bad draw on their deck or a good draw, I guess. Oh, hey, if I do this, is it going to steal that? We don't know if it's the same one or not. It's the only problem. But it might steal it. Hannah was not bad, but I don't think I can give up my healing. We just don't know if it's the same one, but it probably is. Could be fun. Um, Mage secret though, guys. Like what the heck is that gonna be? Oh, that's the ice barrier. We know what that is. That's from my son well, right? Yeah, that's the ice barrier we gave them. So we know what that is. That's fine. Barrier's not a problem. Uh, Let's see, man. Cause two of these is definitely nice. Yeah, nice. Excellent work. Well done, sir. Oh, this is from them too? Have they not played this yet? No, they played it already, right? So that won't matter. Oh, do we just shard? I wasn't planning to, but suddenly I'm thinking it's maybe really good. Is there going to be a better board later? Oh, I don't know, man. There's a lot of stuff on here. I, I could arguably do that for a, uh, like value upside later, like silence off some of their hero powers or something, right? But... I don't know. This this lets me save my psychic scream, which also can function as a nice silence effect later. Because now I don't have to psychic scream these monster stat lines as much. But I still need that Benedictus if I'm planning to win this uh, fatigue battle at all, right? Because right now we're behind by five in fatigue. And uh, I'm going to need Benedictus to equalize that. But even then, I'm not going to have a huge advantage i mean it's pretty big advantage i guess no i take that back it's pretty big advantage <laughs> it's enough to kill them later right it's fine oh yeah that doesn't really matter too much to me it's not a scary death rattle with Zyrella until there's 10 of them anyway then it's a little scary oh that's true too i don't really take real fatigue damage either do i yeah that's right i can always kind of just ignore fatigue can i oh, that's another bonus yeah i forgot about that too how cool is that uh, yeah, let's just kill this, right? I think that's fine. I don't need to get greedy with my dude there. I think I'm just curious about what my what my line is. I don't think we're ever playing Anduin yet. Am I doing this? This feels a bit premature. Maybe it's just this and chill. Certainly not bad now. I mean, we could probably rip this fine and... I don't know, though. I'd rather have more spells for the Lyra... Radiant. I think we just chill. I think we don't need to be in a hurry this game. I really do need to find Benedictus soon, though. That would be nice. <sighs> Embrace Darkness. Oh, that's kind of scary. I don't want them gaining control of that, that's for sure. Can I silence that off, man, anyway? I need to silence that somehow. I could Shadow Word Void it, maybe, or just destroy it somehow, right? So that they don't gain control of it? Hmm. I don't want a Plague of Death it. That's not really the answer. Um, this does not leave much mana because I'm spending 10 before even making a play. Maybe we have to start here to save some mana, right? It can hit here and heal that and draw again as well. Whispers of the Deep! Perfect! Yes, this is amazing. Oh my god, it's perfect. Actually, you know what? I want to draw a card kind of, right? I want to draw a card, so let's do this. Fear not. Okay. So yeah, we're chilling again. I don't think we need to play anything yet. I mean, I could throw in an imp, but he's just no reason to yet. Might be good later to throw a body into something and Anduin ping. I mean, there's a few lines I could think of. I need that Benedictus soon though, man. That's really my out here, I think, to get enough resources to win. Because even if I do deny fatigue, I still need resources as well. It's not purely... Oh, perfect. Okay, great. Right on time. 
this is five seven i mean i can just leave it though i'm not really i don't really care just leave it right maybe trade in both of these just to get them in the pool though i mean they're gonna be pretty hard to find after i benedictus for the record and it went too early because we like our hero power too much i'm just gonna trade them in i'd rather have new ones with divine shields um yeah oh true this one's not shuffling yeah that's true only one shuffles but maybe we leave it then right maybe we leave it because what does it really matter all right, we're chilling. Suddenly I have a five card, six card fatigue advantage, I guess. And I don't really take fatigue damage, but I still have to be able to beat this. The scouts do offer them a ton of value. Their card quality probably dips a little bit, but a ton of value, a ton of value. All right, their Zyrella currently is like a billion cards. It's an owl, a forge fiend. A disciple, some like reveler stuff, uh, but nothing like crazy scary, right? Like a pretty good board, and that's about it. They have one more legendary invitation as well, which could be a problem still. We talked about before. Hmm, I didn't psychic stream pre Benedictus. Is that going to be an issue for us? <sighs> Maybe should have. I don't know. Not sure it's going to be a huge issue, but it might be a little bit. I don't know about that. I don't really have a good a good reason to yet you know so i don't know didn't feel necessary yet but is a little annoying perhaps mass dispel huh that means they have a mass dispel i'm cool to start with this though honestly that's fine they still get these death rattles in their xyrella and stuff but totally fine to just clean these out a bit legionnaire sure play a body here we're cool with the status quo right now uh bro regis was live ah uh, thanks yizu uh, i'm gonna sound real dumb here but it's frozen throne duels legal it is yeah that's why you're seeing anduin in my hand isn't it cool golden anduin everybody just gets golden death knights the lich king's a baller just brings along golden death knights for everybody man anduin is just not something i'm really ever looking to play is it just doesn't feel right to me I would say this is a decent Plague of Death, but not a great one. Just not really under pressure is the problem, you know? I just don't have any reason to freak out. So what do I do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I think Wild Pyro Apotheosis is a pretty cool line later. I don't think I want a Psychic Scream. I can't play Anduin because I don't want to lose my hero power. Priest is great later. I'm not really looking for Lyra Radiant stuff and I don't even have a great setup card yet. I think I literally do this and that's all. I think we pass. Next turn I may dump an imp just for hand space. May commit to a play good bat depending on how big and value ridden the board gets. And I guess just how big the stats are too. Anduin can always clear big stats but I don't really want to lose my hero power yet or ever honestly. My deck is full of pretty much garbage. So again, I'm just worried about that value. Well, I don't know. It's got a bunch of extra stuff, so I actually don't know what's full up. My cards are garbage, let's say. There's, I don't know yet. We'll find out, I guess. Oh no, two damage. No, not two damage. I basically want to Psychic Scream as small of a board as I can that's still valuable. You know? Because I don't want them getting a lot of extra resources. Dude, this was like a good Plague of Death. Because there's value off the Psychic. There's pretty big bodies. I can... Well, if I trade my guy in first, though, I'm not getting any value off my guy. But I don't really care about stats this game, do I? I would say this is a pretty good Psychic Scream. I mean, it's a really good Anduin. But again, we're too early on the Anduin. The hero power is just too nice. I can't Anduin in good conscience yet anyway i think it's a plague of death in that case i might have been saying psychic stream but i always meant plague of death uh void yeah that's fine plague of death's good so now they play one big thing we've got the void to handle it uh we still have a psychic stream for emergencies but i really don't want to play if i don't have to and we've got the meta advantage currently they don't have a meta like we do 
got a major fatigue advantage both in cards and health the Zyrella board's a little scary because they're gonna get a big Zyrella board potentially that makes me nervous they have quite a bit of like stat gain and armor gain and minion gain off their Zyrella Honestly, the wild pyro here is a little annoying against my void guys. It probably makes my void guys die very easily. I guess the question there is, do I care? <laughs> like, does it matter if they die easily? They're really just being used for removal primarily, right? So who cares if they die easily? Like, we just don't care, right? We're just chilling. Uh, how does Lich King or Death Knight compare to other classes? Way too early to say. I really have no idea yet. I'm sure they'll be strong. I don't think they want to release a class that's like weak, but just we've only seen a tiny fraction of cards so far. Like less than a third or something of the cards so far, I think. But like patchwork looked insane. They definitely have some some single single cards at least that stand out from a power level standpoint. Patchwork was like five stars. Crazy strong. So other ones though felt a little iffy and weak to me, honestly. So Surly Mob is a little bit more fatigue protection for them, but we also have a Surly Mob, so not worried about that. They decided to trade with the uh, Wild Pyros. They must not have a second spell. Like, they ran those minions into minions, right? I don't know. Oh, more value, yeah. Pretty minimal, though, honestly. That said, Cultist is one of the better ones for them to get off that. Not threatening on board. Well, I guess in, in some ways nothing is really that threatening on board, but... Minimal threat on board, and uh, you are safe now. I do, I am gonna need that shard later, but I don't need it right now. I think we can toss it in. I don't know why I played the imp. I, I thought I was gonna go, I have way less cards than I thought I did. I, for some reason, I thought I was at nine playing out the dude, but I was at eight. Did not need to play the imp yet. It's fine. It doesn't hurt anything, but I didn't need to. It's uh, either way is okay. That's a little better off the, the thing, but still not that crazy. This summons copies specifically, so it doesn't have any fatigue impact or anything. It's just a free free body for them, free free effect probably for them of some sort or another. I don't yet know what the opponent's like game plan is here. It feels like, oh, that might be a game plan. Is that from me? Where did they get their Anduin from? Do we think they're running Anduin? Still though, it's two mana per, per hit on their Anduin, which is still going to be really tough. <sighs> this board's a little more annoying, to be honest. Like, I don't know if it's worth stressing about, but it's a little more annoying. I don't think I'm going to freak out about it yet, but I'm a little... It's kind of getting annoying. Honestly, just like the Gore Fiend is pretty gross because there's so many little bodies kind of lingering around in it and stuff. Those are more scary to me than, than big bodies. Like five one ones is scarier to me than two 2020s, you know? That makes me more nervous. But still no reason to freak out yet. Anduin, though, I, I don't know if they're looking to play Anduin because they may want the value off this hero power. That Anduin might just be something of mine, like an incidental type card they weren't really hoping to get much out of. Oh my. Now see, that's annoying. <laughs> that is annoying. Uh, okay. Uh, that would be where I need that shard back. That makes me want that shard back. I mean, we can Psychic Scream this, but it's a lot of minions for fatigue if I Psychic Scream it now. And it doesn't actually solve the Greybow problem, it just delays it. The thing is with the Greybow too though, even anytime it dies, it still goes in the Zyrella pool. So he still has it for Zyrella regardless. So it doesn't really solve solve the problem so much as just kind of delay the problem. I will use my Plague of Death. Now the end version of Surly Mob is also like a wand of disintegration effectively, right? So that could be good. I think we just kind of don't deal with this yet, is the moral of the story. This will actually draw the two cards I care about. Do I have a two cost spell? No. It's honestly perfect. 
Oh, I don't know what I have because they're I'm in their deck. Oh my god, I kind of got lucky. I, I was only looking at my cards there. I kind of got a little bit lucky, honestly. Um. So this deals with the front half of the gray bow. Again, we still have the Zyrella half of the gray bow, so I don't know. We're gonna figure that out. Uh, maybe Psychic Scream while it's in Death Rattle version or something, and maybe just ignore it long enough that it doesn't matter. They die to fatigue. It's a few few approaches potentially. Surly Mob as well. If I can ever find the actual Surly Mob, we drew the uh, tradable guy instead. So that's another solution later down the road. <coughs> Any time I go for an actual board, they're going to have the Surly Mob number three that just wipes it. That's not really a solution to anything. Letting me trade here is kind of cool. Thank you. Light Shower. Okay, that's fun. Again, I'm kind of doing nothing other than Light Showering here, I think. So they're on Surly Mob plus maybe Amulet? Amulet's a pain too for me, man. Really wish I had my Surly Mob sooner. We're gonna have a couple boards here that get kind of scary. Yeah, Amulet's is gonna be a full board. Wonder if they rip the Surly Mob here or if they wait. There's a shard, okay. Cool. Really not too problematic right now. This is another big board that's not an Amulet, okay. But not really, again, intimidating yet. Oh, we've actually had quite a few of those. Wish I had more hand space, though. I think I still save that for a heal. I, I guess I take two cards here. I don't know. I've not. I've literally have nothing else to do anyway. So, whatever. Uh, probably prefer a heal and incriminating. That does burn a card, though. I can't really afford to burn the uh, the surly mob. I don't think. I think we need that. Heal here is not technically important yet that I know of. It could be, I guess, if they had some insane sequence of damage outputs but for now we know we don't think it's important yet we certainly can get back to full without too much trouble oh wow more value generation they don't have too many spells though right oh, yeah, this is a big one we might have to psychic scream this guys i guess actually anduin's pretty good if i think i can get by on like the other heals the apotheosis pyro type stuff it's just not very good yet uh, we think there's a Surly Mob in there and a Northshire Cleric and one other unknown card. Do not really want a Psychic Stream yet. I want to be ahead in Fatigue. Thinking about maybe just going for like a Priest here. Priest, Amulet, Heal type turn. It's not the biggest Amulet. We could try to get a little greedier, but I don't think I need it to be too much greedier. Now we're just looking to stall as long as we can, right? I sure would love to play a Surly Mob too if I think I'm safe though. Maybe we draw here and try to find the Surly Mob first. No such luck. Dang it. 50-50 to hit it now, but... Yeah, screw it. I'm going to be okay, right? Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, I got to play this. That's good. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of life gain suddenly. Uh... Oh, is the other card the Mita? I might have actually been guaranteed to draw this early mob. It's showing a North Shark Cleric. Did they silence my other Mita before it died? I don't know. This shows the North Shark Cleric in there, so I trusted that. But it might actually be the Mita. I don't know. I don't remember ever losing that second Mita. I know the one got silenced, but what about the other one? I don't remember. Hey, Mokwai, dude. Thanks for the three months. That's really nice with the tier one, dude. If we get into a game state where I just have endless Mitas, I think I can definitely go for Shadow Reaper Anduin because the Mitas will always be there to heal every turn. I do need to deal with this Lyra because that's going to be one way for them to generate a ton of extra resources, right? Like, am I crazy to think that the Anduin is now safe? I feel like I'm not crazy to think that, right? Because I have the Mitas to heal and I have emergency heals here if I need it. I'm only taking one per turn off fatigue anyway. I think it's kind of I think it's kind of safe now. In fact, I think it's the right play now. I think we'll be okay. 
Without the Midas, I'd be really nervous, but they used all their silences, I assume. And this gets rid of the Lyra, which they can get more Lyra cards off the Scout, so... I think the Lyra is actually a threat a little bit. I don't even know if hitting minions is right here or hitting face is right, but... So I'm a little nervous there's a silence off of the scouts, right? Because they get priest cards. It's not likely, but it's certainly not impossible. But now we're also in a bit of a fatigue, just like they're dying. Oh, another Lyra's scary. Dang, that's annoying. There's their amulet, okay. And then again actually wipes out pretty much every threat here. So that's good. Anduin number two is funny. They didn't get any Lyra value either, which is nice. Oh, they got a little. Okay. Just went from a random spell to a random spell, though. It's probably okay. Oh, so it wasn't Orshire. It was not the other Mita, guys. Confirmed, not the other Mita. Um, yeah, Anduin here is good, though, again. Just wipe all this stuff. Anduin number two. Now, we know they have an Anduin, but I don't think it's ever going to be better for them than the Scout, right? It just doesn't feel like it'll ever be better to me. I guess I don't know for sure, but... Okay. They're at three on Fatigue. We're getting ready to draw into Fatigue fairly soon. We got the, the mob, but then it'll shuffle one more time. And then we start drawing Fatigue. But we're only taking one per turn, and we have the Mita to every turn. Presumably at some point we'll just start attacking every turn. That rally's pretty good. Now, they still have their Zyrella, right? That's the one thing we do need to keep in mind here. Zyrella is a board reset and a board builder for them. So I gotta keep that in mind. Um, They will obviously wait till the last minute, I think, for the Zyrella. Rightfully so. I probably just want to start hitting face now. Um, We can shuffle the Surly Mob in. I guess... I just start hitting face though and play like an incriminating psychic I guess I can ping off that one two two I don't really want to ping these off for them because it might give them too many cards um yeah I don't know if the Zyrella draws them cards or not that's a good thought it might be a risk I don't think they had any like lep or uh, loot hoarders or anything in there so I don't, I don't think so maybe I actually need to tidy up minions a little bit because I don't actually have uh a totally clear and free line here just yet. I think they're going to have one more giant board off Zyrella that I need this final Surly Mob step to defeat. Really don't want a Psychic Scream because that just extends the game and gives them SI7 Scout outs. So I can avoid that, I will. Yeah, no, my fatigue is capped at one, I believe. I think that's how that works. That's how it used to work, I think. I had to trade it in the scout first to see if you get like a cool silence or something, right? Oh my god, dude. They still have that Anduin in hand and that's all I'm getting. I just keep getting Anduins, dude. The triple Death Knight duels. Good god. It's so gross. Velen's chosen making that very large. Okay. Pupil is actually pretty frustrating to deal with, I guess. It's a little annoying. Now, the, 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 these fatigue ticks will go through my armor, but I think once I get to the actual heavy armor part, I should be okay. Um, Endless Midas is really nice. Um, I can just kill this, I guess, but I lose my apothe- Oh, no, I can just ping. I can just ping. It's fine. Oh. Oh god, oh god, oh yeah, I can still just ping. Could have just I, I could have just pinged that. I don't know why I didn't. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> just don't worry about it. I gotta just ping that to start. Don't don't look at me. I missed some damage. I know, I know. I got caught up on the taunt. Just ignore me. I am I see it. <laughs> I know, I don't need chat. I get over it, it's fine. It's been a 40 minute game. Give me a little slack here. Watch that be the difference maker. Somehow I lose because of that, right? So now if they go for their Cyrella board, we have the final step of of, uh, of our spell here to just wipe them out, hopefully. And that's I, I hope that's kind of their big last push. They're going to gain a billion armor, though, so it is actually noteworthy. Like, they're going to have a ton of life. They're going to clear my board. 
probably they're gonna get a lot of cards in hand usually oh yeah we forgot about the gray bow too yeah that's fine though we can silence off the gray bow that was why we were happy to see this early mob all along so here, now see the one advantage here is they did lose their scouts so now they are kind of capped to their hand like they don't have anything other than their hand in regards to their total value output they got a bunch of random priest cards some big buffs actually yeah still really scary they're gonna get some board here too because they've had like some ectoplasms and stuff you know they've had things that gave them minions left over i think a couple uh death rattle uh damages coming out too still the undying disciples or whatever if i skip my turn i'm gonna be real ticked Criminating Psychic, does that give them anything really good? Psychic Scream, Lyra? Potentially, yeah. Anduin's probably not that great. Anduin is better for them, though, than Zyrella at this stage, I would say. Because they could ping my face more. Huh. No, they didn't have the AoE, actually. I lied. Okay. Well, that's probably good news for me. Alright, I just don't want to overdo it here. Maybe up a little, but still go face a lot too. Every point of face damage matters here. This is all I'm working with, guys. They're taking six. Okay, that heal of theirs is pretty good later. We're each capped to our hand right now. I have eight cards to my name. Yeah, kind of seven and some my Midas, I guess, Midas. They have, uh, oh, this is a little bit of a liability on board, by the way. Mm -hmm. Didn't think about that, but I guess I only take one fatigue per tick, so maybe not that much of a liability, I guess. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's okay. That is very large, though. Holy crap. This might be a good, uh, good Anduin, I guess. Maybe we trade in this cleric to avoid any problems, right? We don't want to risk our, our lives on this cleric, I don't think. Feels like a decent Anduin turn. Oh, that Greybow. I forgot about that Greybow being attached to that. Mm. How much do I stress about this Greybow right now? How much do I stress? Three damage here, four with the uh, fatigue tick. I think I just kill the Greybow, right? Like, I don't, I don't think it really matters. I think it's fine i think we i think we can do this we still have us the the crazed mob right so we're not really sacrificing anything here and this way i don't have to waste on the on the gray bow silence or anything i think this is fine am i trading in the northshire cleric is the question i i think so it just prevents you know wacky emergencies and stuff i just i, I think it avoids a little risk lose a damage but avoids some weird weird outs and stuff you know <sighs> this game by the way guys my god dude this one game is taking up the whole stream <laughs> it's still in this game i hope they didn't get this out of my hand off that psychic right that would be very annoying to lose my meters because this is kind of when we pivoted the end when we were sort of trusting these to be the 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 uh the healing that we need right Turn limit? No, it's 45. We're only on 27 somehow. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? All right. So remember, we're taking full damage now because it's hitting armor, but we won't later. Don't worry. Um, Man, am I just hitting face, I guess? Yeah. Saving our resources for later, right? This only hits for four right now. They're at eight. Yeah, they're getting really deep here. Hope I'm not dead to some weird, crazy out, right? Okay, that's fine. Oh, nice. Woo! Dude! <laughs> that was a Hearthstone game! Holy crap! I don't even know, man. That was wild. I like Hyper Blaster in the stack, actually. Yeah, it's really nice. Hyper Blaster's pretty good. More removal. Dude, how long was that game? 44 minutes long 44 minute hearthstone game yeah i love it thief thievery give me the thievery 
All right, bombs. Eh, that's a problem. I mean, heavy armor does negate a lot of bomb threat, though. So maybe not that much problem. Let's keep a gift. And uh, Benedictus also, by the way, kind of negates bomb threat a little too by filling up the deck with non-bombs. So we might be able to just burn them out here. You can see that. Be our guest and unlocked potential. Oh, interesting. That's not something we typically see with bombs, I feel like. Dude, I forgot this is in our deck. It's been 44 minutes since I've seen <laughs> since I've seen this that one game. Oh man. Oh yes, also five years, no Sam. Yes. That's also pretty significant. I thought you were just here for wild. Five years pretty amazing though, dude. Thank you. It's like top five, I think, for subs. Pretty nuts. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Uh, okay. Ash is good. We like little, little, uh, armor really doesn't go far for us, but just little, little chip removal can be nice. This is a good combo. If they play something big and scary early off be our guest, we might be able to do something cool with it. I mean, I doubt it's really something that, like effectively trades in or whatever, but still okay. Benedictus, there we go. Do we play Benedictus earlier or later? I think we play it earlier, right? Just to get as many cards as we can. Although, we have to ask, like, are the Warriors cards going to be okay for me to get? Uh, in other words, like, am I going to decrease the quality of my deck too much? I think on average, their cards are fairly well aligned with mine. In other words, we're both, like, more controlling defensive sort of decks so i don't think it would be a huge unalignment disalignment on un, i don't know i think i need card draw here though the wave shadow word pain is kind of interesting together but i think i just need cards i don't care about the i don't care about the dragons there are invitations in his deck true that's a good good argument that the quality is pretty high I think the thing that would, would worry me the most is whether or not there is a uh, card draw in his deck. I think I need a sufficient amount of card draw. Uh, well, this doesn't feel great. This pair together though can certainly be interesting with two zero cost spells in hand. Probably doesn't go nuts. Might be something we want to play like with the Shadow Madness. Maybe we're looking to turn nine. Ruined Shield. So you guys all sound like you're saying, go ahead and play the Benedictus. Regis, don't don't wait on the Benedictus, Regis. Just play it. Play the Benedictus, Regis. I'm not drawing any cards right now. It's really stressing me out. I actually kind of need them to hit me or hit this minion, something, right? Or I don't know. I just, I need, I need to heal. I need to draw cards. Have we had any big Sunwell plays yet? We did actually. We had a Sunwell card win us a game, basically. It wasn't like the star of the show in other games but it's been it's been useful but one game it actually was the star of the show i think legit Ooh, they left this up so i can actually take a trade here and heal it for card draw i can hit by enough bombs I'll also go that route hey, that's my cake. i mean i can just play the benedictus right now maybe guys honestly i lose a card draw but i mean yeah let's freaking go i don't care bring it Bring it, chill, chill 47 card deck. No big deal. <laughs> I don't know. The real issue now though is we don't know what we're ever drawing. You know, I don't have any reliability. I don't have any, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. They're hitting face already. That I'm totally fine with as long as I'm not dead. We're not gonna hit five straight bombs uh, with a 47 card deck, right? Oh man, they are really hammering. Okay, that's gonna make the gift of the Naru even better here. They're trying to hit four bombs. It's eight out of 47. If I take four bombs right now, I'm retiring from this game forever. So <laughs> just be warned, <laughs> I will quit forever. Um, okay. This is a big heal. I mean, they have this literally on board and they're sti still uh, still going for that one. I mean, do we, are, do we go ahead and play these already? I actually don't hate it, right? It's not likely to be amazing, but I can I can make some decent plays here. Uh, actually, uh, oh, I don't know now. I'm not 
not so convinced. The plays are decent. Be quick. Not, I'm not killing anything. Why am I doing this? This doesn't do anything. It heals more minions, but that's pointless. <laughs> that does nothing. I don't know. All I did is just debuff them for a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste the shot. I don't know why I used the thing. I didn't need to use the thing there. That was pointless. Yeah, okay. That didn't go so great. I mean, it's kind of fine to protect my Lyra and stuff. I don't hate it, but it wasn't really, it wasn't really great. Uh, Barrow's really good. Barrow's really good. Hey, Mokwai. Thanks for the uh, raid. Welcome, 13 folks. It's really nice. Got to kill the Lyra really not too bad though they're really running out of resources right that's kind of great for me i don't know if that lyro turn was worth it though i just don't know if we made enough stuff you know like you need to make stuff i think to make lyra exciting i don't think we did make enough stuff any reason to like steal this i mean am i gonna get a better target i almost wonder that that's kind of a question right am i gonna get a better target i don't know Frozen Buckler and Bring It On. Okay, so I can actually take the Bring It On and just use it because they don't have any minions in hand. Uh, here, probably Bash. I mean, they're all kind of the same, but Bash has a little more flexibility, perhaps. We know this does absolutely nothing. I mean, I, I think they're resource choked, right? So I think we just take resources here. Um, right? That is not much of a death rattle minion, by the way. <laughs> I would have been fine to give them that. I think that would have been okay. But, uh, all right, fine. The real issue we have right now is though, even though they're completely choked on resources, I don't really have a way to leverage that for a victory. I can't like, you know, I, I don't have a way to push a lot here. I can make a couple minions. Um, you know, I can, I can buff this guy and hit face with him, for instance, but I'm not really, you know, hitting any home runs right now, man. I'm hitting for four per turn. I don't have any threat development. Can't risk Anduin this early because I lose my healing. I don't want to do that. And I lose my card draw as a consequence of losing the healing, uh, or the hero power. So that won't work. Uh, oh, wow. Bladestorm is really good against this big guy. That sucks. Did they play the, uh, bring it on? No, it's still what's at hand. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to use this again. I don't, I mean, I do technically have armor synergy cards because I'm drawing their cards, but of course, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously, uh, of course, that's what it is. <laughs> Slam might be better just for card draw, but I don't know. This is not bad either. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna use these, right? I don't think they matter. I mean, I'll, I'll use one because I have mana. I know their hand is not gonna have any minions, so. All right, this may just live for a, a while, right? This could be worth a couple bomb eats. I'm not too worried about bombs because of our heavy armor still, but th this might be worth a couple, so. Totally chill with that. Okay, let's hit that and heal, honestly. They're gonna rip their bring it on, all right, <laughs> dude. We both just can't die. <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, they eventually, you know, might be able to beat me with bombs, but it, it, I think it's actually pretty unlikely, right? Because we, we'd have to take all the bomb hits like in a sequence because eventually it's going to get down to them shuffling one bomb and me taking one damage and then me healing for three. Even once I get into fatigue, I only take two damage per turn and heal. Well, I guess I take three damage per turn and heal three damage per turn, so the inevitability state actually still favors me, right? In that scenario. Because fatigue deals one, my hero power deals one off the fatigue draw, and their bomb deals one, but I heal three. So if it is, it, you know, as long as we don't take all the bombs in one sequence that is a lethal sequence, you know, like seven in a row or something to take me from seven to zero, then eventually, we will reach a parity state where I am always alive and they're out of resources. Yeah, exactly. They should die to fatigue long before that anyway, but they just have to hit some insane stretch of bombs. <clears throat> so I don't know. Yeah, at this stage, it's an, it's a, what, what are we, we were 10 bombs plus another five. We'd have to draw, 
16 straight bombs right now, but I'm talking about later, like once the armor's chipped through, you know, there there could be some some point in the game where they hit me with a couple things and then I take seven bombs. I don't think that's likely, but possible. So, man, they are taking a long time to play for one card in hand, by the way. Come on. They... <laughs> Come on. Oh, Serathine's a fun idea. Um, that is going to make their deck wholly unpredictable. Now, it does only affect minions, so this is still a uh, still a dude, right? But this lets me draw a card, which is nice. Do I draw two? Probably, yeah. Uh, we can always rip this if we need to play a cheap thing. But resources are really, really good. Blade Storm, okay. Do I just see what that is? Like, give them like a tentacle or something? Is there any hand of three cards that I hate to give them? Like, like you know, if it gets like these three, I could give against all odds. These three, I could give them an Anduin actually, right? That's not that scary. It's probably better than their bombs in a weird way. Yeah, I think so. There's a lot of whiffs here too, so. Let's see what they got. Oh, it's Slam. Why did I think that was the uh, armor guy? Yeah, whatever, Slam's good for me. I like card draw. Denying them resources is really, really good, so. Okay. They can slam a minion, or no, they can't. They can play a 1-1 one, one minion, and whatever this is, then I can slam. Dude! Two straight invitations off the top, man. Kind of lucky they got these later in the game, though, I guess. Can't complain. I told my wife I was going to have to stream like four or five hours today because of all the new stuff. I didn't know that was going to be two duels games. Is this guy bugged? Am I going to bug out? I heard this was like bugged or something. Maybe they fix that in today's patch. Actually, literally be fixed right now. Okay. Hyper Blaster is really nice. Ravening Ghoul is actually really nice, too. Consider this your greatest test. I told you guys this was going to live for like four or five turns. What did I tell you? He's still alive. <laughs> How much armor has this given me? It's a lot, right? It's a lot. Where are my invitations at? My deck isn't that big. I don't know, man. It's pretty big. <laughs> I disagree. It's three out of 40. I mean, I guess a lot of that's bombs, which don't really count, huh? So yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. It's not that big. Um, Sure. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Well, that doesn't do anything now. Doesn't really do anything either. Oh, shoot. I'm kind of at a little bit of a stalemate. I guess we dump this then just to discount some of this stuff. Oh, literally only two things get discounted, huh? Okay, they gave up. <laughs> They're over it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what happened here that made them give up, but cool. I don't know. I mean, it, I think I think that was inevitably a loss for them. I mean, let alone like the board advantage, but I think uh, any in-game state favored us there if I mathed it out correctly. I think healing is just too powerful for us to give up. With heavy armor, every heal point is just really, really important. All right, Vandar promote. That could get out a little bit faster here. We've been playing a lot of uh, grindier, controlier decks. This one being a little bit aggroier could be a real threat to us. So let's uh, let's try to keep some early game. Try to find some stuff to deal with that early. Wave of apathy is not really very important for us because it's kind of the same. A, a one five and a five five deal the same amount of face damage to me. So we'll see. Bodies early though can be good. Like just getting a, a radiant down on one here might be worth it. Mm, they do have brittle bones though, so it might not be exclusively minion based. They may have some removal spells here. Maybe it's like a relic demon hunter? No, Grom's arm guards? I don't know what it is. Umberwing. Token, brittle bones, demon hunter? I have I just don't know. I have no clue what we're facing here. But I do know tokens are really bad for us. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play the Radiant, honestly. So I can Spyglass this turn. I mean, this is really good together, but it's so late. Northstar does technically contest these, but not super well against Promote. I want to do everything at once. I'm just gonna go. I don't know. It may not pay off. Eh, it doesn't pay off. I mean, I don't hate playing this. It just dies to a Promote pretty easily, but... Eh. We'll wait, we'll wait. 
Yeah, the, yeah, the weapon hits me for 10% of my health. Yeah, if I had 40 health, that would be like a four attack weapon. How gross is that? Okay, taunt is a nice little roll at least. That's uh, not allowing them to like trade up with divine shield or chip damage with wind fury or poison is clear, you know. Taunt was definitely one of our best outcomes. Rush, stealth, and taunt were the three good rolls, I'd say. Divine shield probably the worst roll. I didn't get bag of coins, man. Oh, dude, come on. Can you imagine bag of coins? Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, Lyra bag of coins, dude. Oh, I'm so sad I didn't get bag of coins. That is really, that hurts. That hurts my soul. That pains me. All right, let's just play these together. Usually drawing me a card, getting a little tempo back. Wouldn't mind taking a little bit of extra damage, honestly, so that I can start working on my hero power for card draw. Would be nice. Um, kind of expecting that anyway. Hyper Blaster's pretty good here, honestly. Let's get the board back, clean this up. Not the, the best target, probably, for a Hyper Blaster, but it's certainly a fine one. Um. Okay. You know, Lyra at like six mana is pretty good for us. Lyra, coin, gift, wave type turn. Get a couple extra cards. Might be really important. They have a lot of resources though, which that's always scary. I still don't have a good board clear card. I don't have, you know, the psychic scream yet. That sort of stuff still missing for me. Void is pretty stranded. I need extra draws off this. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Let's just chill. Two damage is not the end of the world. I'm going to save the weapon charges here for, for bigger threats later, I hope. May regret that, honestly. <clears throat> An 8 eight's kind of the same as a 1-1 one -one if you're talking about on board. Uh, for face damage, anyway, but... For minions, you know. A little better, I guess. We can void the 3-6 now. I think, I'm, I think I'll hit the 2-2, two -two, honestly. This is definitely a deck that can do damage, so I don't want to be too irresponsible with my health total. You know, I've kind of been pretty cavalier about my health totals against a lot of those last two control matchups, but they might realistically have, uh, you know, a couple couple damage spells and and stuff. So I got to be a little more careful. This could be our Lyra turn like we talked about. There's the relic stuff. Yeah, that, that is what they were moving towards this whole time, but it just took them a minute, I guess. Okay. Plague of death for later. I kind of like that. That looks good. Huh. Gift doesn't actually heal, huh? Or doesn't actually heal. Or draw. The word I'm looking for is draw. It doesn't draw. Uh, I mean, Northshire gift does, but in a less exciting way. I don't know. I think we need to find something to do, though. Condemn would be cool. Initiate, not so cool. Maybe I just go for cards here. I hate that this isn't dying, though. Oh, yeah, they do have their face. Oh, yeah, they took damage, didn't they? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will draw off their face. Maybe we just draw two, then. I think that's fine. We lose the Lyra to the Poisonous, but that's not the end of the world. Getting draws is what really matters here. Make sure we're well-equipped for our future turns. So hit, 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 hit. Yeah, we should be okay here. Resources are what matter most. That's pretty good. Not the best turn, but a couple cards off Lyra. Three cards off Lyra. Two cards off Lyra. Two cards off Lyra. More healing. Have Plague for a big Relic board now. Still probably need a Psychic Scream, though, for that sort of board. Denathrius is actually a huge threat for us, isn't it? Denathrius is one thing I have to figure out an answer to. I need to Theotar their Denathrius. Because you know they're going to have Denathrius. <clears throat> that's a real threat could easily kill me and honestly very soon could be discounted in hand right now and kill me oh that's true they oh he's not like a thune he only does the damage in one burst doesn't he oh my god he only hits me for one oh yeah 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 we're actually fighting against anathrys i bet aren't we wow that sucks for them then okay in that case i feel pretty good then i don't know how to lose then we're healing back to full but we don't really care too much about that that's not really our angle of victory our angle of victory is just attrition 
just never dying. Well, there's the <laughs> there's the theater anyway, guys. I mean, uh, kind of don't hate the initiation here though. It's pretty good. Could maybe cast a light just to draw another card. I mean, it's really not the best initiation, but it's okay. Yeah, Cthune kills us. Yeah, Cthune would be quite the surprise to see, though. That would be a rather shocking development, I think. Is this really the right time to use this? I think it's fine. <laughs> it's like so bad, but I think it's okay. I just don't want to use this weapon too casually. There's just no real advantage to it. There will be better targets later, right? Some big 8-8 or something that's annoying on my board. All right. Um, yeah, need more cards always. So focusing on card draw here is important. Uh, hand is not great. Really not great. Thrive is cool. Psychic Conjure is probably going to hit some garbage relic card. Uh, I mean, we could get enough relics to actually make them interesting off like benedictus and stuff it's not impossible that we start playing a relic demon hunter somewhere in the middle of the game but it takes a while to spin that up you know it's not going to be good for a for a bit they have a lot of really cheap cards in hand i don't know what they're doing with those yet but it seems to be a problem eventually to worry about that does mean theotar is pretty likely to hit something cheap right that's kind of nice they are ripping through their deck though, so fatigue is going to be a real advantage for us at some point soon. It's literally the first... Dude, I forgot they played Skeletons. Literally the first one we've seen, man. Oh my god, I haven't seen one yet. That's crazy. That's so funny. Um, Alright, let's start here. What do we see? What do we see? Yeah, Denathri is still good for me. I mean, like we talked about, right? Not... Like, the Zymox is scary, but I can just play good death the Zymox board. That's fine. The Denathrius isn't really that scary to me. Like we talked about, we don't we think it does it in one hit. So I, I, there is some argument to taking the Zymox, but I think I'm better able to utilize the Denathrius as, like, life gain, board clear, that sort of stuff. So I think I'd rather have the Zymox. Wave of Apathy doesn't really matter that much. So there's our Denathrius for seven. He's still working on his... Uh, Still working on his uh, infuse, but that's all right. Oh, there's a relic, okay. I need that soon, actually. A little scary here. I, I could theoretically take uh, five damage somehow off all this stuff. So I don't I don't think we're totally safe right now. Miss having a lot of armor gain. I don't I don't think we're dead either, though. For the record, I think we're okay. Just. Uh, a little scary, technically. This would be a good Psychic Stream board because the minions all suck. But it does mean that it's a big board, which means I win via Fatigue uh, later, which I do really want to win via Fatigue if I can. I would vastly prefer to win via Fatigue because uh, that ends the game sooner. just don't have a good way to clear this other than maybe... To, to, is this the Denathria's turn? <laughs> It's honestly not bad. I uh, that makes it a little worse, honestly. That does make it. Oh, it makes it a lot worse. Okay, this is starting to look like a plague board. Again, psychic stream. I'd actually rather use on a small but impactful board, like two eight eights or something. You know. Not to mention these aren't even that bad of draws on average. I'd say. I mean, they're not good. I need to find an Anduin though to handle, cause we're gonna have um, a Zymox board with big relic dudes. We're gonna have uh, some naturally big relic dudes off this, right? And then we have this board. So I need actually quite a few significant board clears. I think I'd rather plague the relic dudes, right? Cause, well, maybe that's not true. Maybe that's not true. I think this might be the Psychic Extreme board, honestly. Cause I haven't played Benedictus yet. So it's actually not that big of a problem that their deck gets bigger. Um, it's like, what do I, do I care if they draw these? Like, eh, it's kind of good. This is pretty dead. Is them drawing like a 10 mana, 10, 10 worse? I don't know which is worse, honestly. This is fine though. We'll be okay. Not sure if it's right to heal or actually let myself take damage and draw more cards. I don't know the answer to that. 
Um, I, I, I don't know. I think there's three big boards I'm going to need to deal with. That's one of my removals. So we've got Plague of Death and we've got Anduin for the next two. I would say debate amongst yourself if that's the right scream timing or not. I don't know. Really hard to say. Yeah, stealth is good. Relic Vault number two. Okay. Healing Potion is hot garbage. Oh my. Okay. That's that's awesome. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Bone Wraith? Sure, yeah. That's, we just put that in. We know that guy. Hey, I've seen that guy. Um... I could steal their Bone Wraith if I want to, and then maybe if this lives, I could steal the Devourer, but I think the Devourer will just eat it, so I don't think it lives, right? Um, I, I think I just Relic and Bone Wraith in this case. I, I definitely want to be the second guy to Devourer, I suspect. That's probably always going to be better. Uh, if I did get my... Uh, did I already play that? No, I haven't played the Mysterious Wizardry yet, so if we get that, we could actually make this cheap enough to... Uh, to play both together three and six and then steal theirs right but this is another good board clear by the way against the relics we were talking about needing an answer to a relic based board this is pretty good pretty good board clear okay that's a relic board but it's not the grossest yet like can i get through this one more organically not really right not really this isn't a good anduin it's not a good shadow madness it's not a good weapon attack. I mean, it's Devourer works okay here, but then I know they're gonna take mine. So that makes it way less interesting. In other words, do I need to Plague of Death this board? Then I'm down to just the Devourer. I mean, there is some truth to the fact that like once they make 8-8 relics, they're no scarier to me than, than the 4-4 relics. So I can Plague of Death this board just as easily as I can Plague of Death a board of 8-8 relics or whatever. They're the same amount of threat. It is true that I can use Devourer and they weapon the Devourer, but my thought about the Devourer is right now, I, I don't clear a large enough percentage of the board, you know? Take damage and draw, I, I can't. I, this, this, I'm immune while attacking. I think it's fine to plague this. Minion width is just as threatening to me as minion height. So in other words, the, 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 the board of one ones is actually scarier than the board of two eight eights or whatever. Um, so this is going to be a three minion board, which is perfect for the Devourer, right? Even though they're bigger, well, that's also good for the Devourer, but in other words, I just don't think I have to be patient on the, on the plague is the moral of the story. They played those in a great way for me for the Devourer, so that's awesome. There is a taunt though, which means I may not be able to hit their Devourer very easily. <clears throat> that's a little annoying. Like they're gonna devour this guy probably, right? I guess I can Shadow Madness though for that, so that's fine. Okay. <laughs> big boy. <gasps> he got real big. My Tanathri is getting pretty solid now, by the way, up to 11. Not like great, but decent, decent. I guess if they gave that stealth, I'd be in trouble. I mean, although again, <laughs> I'll say it again. The Sigil Runner is just as scary. <laughs> You know, as far as it, face attacks are concerned. Um, <laughs> it's not amusing. I think we just take this and run it in and hit the 30-30. I'm never going to get a better target than that for my weapon, right? This is as good as it's going to get. Um, and I think it's probably fine to play Benedictus here as well, right? I'm still at 8. That seems sufficient. I even have a taunt up a little bit here. They're running out of cards. I already Psychic Scream, so that's not a check or anything. I will say that I probably did reduce the quality of my deck there a fair bit. Uh, that's definitely true, but Harvester Theft Accusation both get a little better now. Guys, we are two and a half hours into this run, and we're on game five. My god, dude, it's gross. So the one thing I don't have an answer to right now is another big relic board. Or this board. I, honestly, this board's scarier. I'll, I'll probably just Denathri as this board if I uh, don't find a better answer. Oh, they're going to save the poisonous? No, they're trading in for board space, I guess? Oh, for draw. Okay. That's fine, too. I mean, fatigue is how we win, I think, so I don't, I don't mind fatigue. Oh, game six. Sure, yes. Game six. Even better. Okay. 
And with no good here. I, I honestly think this is the Denathrius turn, isn't it? Why not, right? Like, he's not going to clear any bigger boards later. I don't have enough minions to make him a lethal threat or anything, so... This is pretty much the perfect shape of board for Denathrius. <clears throat> okay. Prevents the opponent from, like, stealing him back with Theotar or something. Scary. So we've gotten through Zymox, we've gotten through Denathrius, we've gotten through Devour. I think there's probably still another Relic of Phantasm's board off this Relic Vault that's going to be a problem. But now we have Anduin to answer that, like a big board there. And we still have plenty of healing to post Anduin with the Priests and the Healing Potions. So that feels safe. That might be their last big push, like one more big Relic board. They're probably going to start running out of stuff after that point. Although all these tokens are, are again really hard for me to to deal with these are scarier in some ways whoops oh the divine shield means they can't kill it now and they don't get the second wave wow that's tough for them yeah that sucks that's a really unfortunate roll how how unlucky for them i don't think they have this happening this anyway <sighs> i actually need this man i, I don't have a i don't have a way to stop these this is a lot of damage right now man i need this uh, I maybe should have theft actization to one one I'm like a little bit scared of dying. I'm a little scared of being dead, man. I'm going to try to bait them into killing some stuff, but th this is a little harrowing. There's five damage on board. I think I, I should have maybe killed this tutu or wh whichever or the tutu, I guess. Probably. Yeah, but something anyway, I could have theft into the guy. I didn't know what I was going to draw. So it felt weird to commit early, but. Yeah, this is the scariest board position yet. If they can just move through this taunt and hit me for five, do they have any way to find a lethal out? Like, can they deal five damage to face somehow? Couple damage spells. I mean, most Demon Hunter, I guess, uh, damage is through, like, attacks. I got a Light's Sorrow. And they got a Live Wire Lance. Lackeys are good, though. Lackeys are really nice for them. Seems like I'm not dead, though, which is good news actually doing work that's nice they are basically down to their final few cards so a lackey could add a lot of value for them hey we talked about whether that guy would uh would connect or not and it did the weapon set him up that's awesome for them way to go dude but i can use the light sorrow here to activate my brittle bone destroyer just the same turnabout's fair play sir all right, like hit, hit, destroyer, the three, four. Heal face, see what they play. I mean, I just, what on earth is the line here? There's no interesting lines. Maybe I hit this to heal? Do I care more about drawing a card or just being efficient? I don't think I really need the card draw right now, honestly. Let's be on board efficient in this case. All right. All right. I think one final relic board is the only threat <coughs> that they have left. As far as I know, we got 15 cards. We got infinite health. They got seven cards. Oh, Shara's big threat. Okay. It's not bad. Hey, Grixie's man thanks to 17 months. Uh, oh, yeah, I can't take damage. Oh, yeah, I was going to hit the 3-3 three, three to take damage. What an idiot. <laughs> Heavy armor still works, bro. <laughs> Forgot. All right, that's a good clear. This could maybe answer some uh, some Colossi, but we don't necessarily need to yet. It depends on how scary it all gets. Oh, dude, that's actually gross. All these tutus are a problem again. Man. If they had a way to, like, clear off their own board here. Oh, that's smart. Fatigue protection. I love it. I love it. No Colossi. That makes way more sense, man. That's smart. That's sneaky good. These are scary though, right? They uh, they can all hit and then kill them off with like an AOE, and then deal an extra three. It's like double damage if they can if they can wipe their board. This is really spooky. Discover dragons, good man. I feel like I do not have good plays at all right now. Okay, well, I might find me some, I guess. Let's see. Top deck Sunwell to save the day. Um. I don't think so <laughs> i don't think so 
Uh, well, Consider this your greatest test. yeah, I don't know about this. Again, I'm I'm feeling a little bit uh, a little bit scared here. Oh my god, dude, are you kidding me? I was gonna taunt that up, but now it's like, what's the point? Wow, what a four drop, dude. <laughs> dude. Um. I'm I'm actually legit really nervous. I think there's a, a a very real chance we're dead. Very real chance we're dead. Just hit 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 AOE me somehow and I am screwed. I'm actually screwed. Um I need shard. I need I actually need them to like buff their board for Anduin or something. I don't even know if that's good though, because then I got a no heal situation. After I clear I take a billion damage. Oh, they are generating way more. Oh my, oh, that's only enemy minions. Oh, thank God. Oh, if that were friendly minions, I would be so screwed. So screwed. Okay. That's not really that scary. Wind Fury's bad. Oh God. Okay, so we're not dead because they didn't like wipe these. That's good news. Um, you can just go like priest and then like taunt it and heal a bunch. Northshire Cleric. So heal is uh, six, priest plus ancestrals nine. Not actually a full heal. Might get a spell off hero power. I could go free from amber here, but then I'm really potentially missing a lot. So let's start with a heal and see what we find. Nine cards. Palm readings probably just better, right? like a condemn type card holy nova <sighs> it's very good next turn but very scary in the meantime i think i play this right just as an absorber for the the two two death rattles maybe <sighs> oh god this is nerve-wracking man i am my nerves, they are racked. So he has uh, six attacking minions, seven with a Wind Fury, eight with a Hero Power. Another Wind Fury would be nine if he can get through the taunt, some other mechanism, right? Like that spell. That doesn't quite get all the way through, but still not bad. So also trading in the skeletons can also result in uh, additional damage to face as well sometimes. So again, we're very close to dying. <sighs> Don't be Wind Fury. Stealth is fine, although that's still annoying for Holy Nova, right? Yeah, that actually makes that dead to Holy Nova again, but the Holy Nova does hit me for an additional two damage, which I need to be mindful of. Which isn't actually that scary right now, because we have healing potion, we have hero power, like, that's okay. We're gonna heal to six and then take two down to four. Could even play the Steam Bot first, but I don't really necessarily need to. I'd almost rather have more health later. Um, so do we start with a hero power? Do we trust a free from amber? Hero power steam bot holy nova is not bad actually. So should be okay. Let's draw first though, just in case. Brittle bone also destroys a threat. Is that better than this steam bot? Not usually really, right? Alternatively, am I just better off with a holy healing potion? I mean, we're only leaving one damage up. Surely that's okay, right? They're not going to get as much as they had last turn. They're not going to get four out of hand, are they? But also, like, what's the... What's the... What's the hurry, I guess, too, right? What's the hurry, you know? Maybe we just play it safe. I have another one of these. Let's just play it safe. What's the hurry? What's the, you know, like, why risk it? Some random generation into, like, an arcane missiles type effect could screw me, right? Like, what's the, what's the, what's the risk? Let's just be safe. No rush. We can use the brittle bone anytime. Is this a relic board? Yeah, so they buffed here. So this might be our Anduin turn, of course. Um, If I do go Anduin, I do lose my hero power. Right, I get myself a worse hero power, but... I think we probably have to this doesn't risk the secret either which is nice i am out of aoe's in the deck though so if they did build another board of dudes i have to kill them the old-fashioned way brittlebone can do that 
But they're out of relic vaults, we assume, too. And a lot of this is garbage we can identify, right? So I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Usually they buffed this instead of this, so we actually fully clear here. At this point, too, we might actually, even if they did build a big board, we might just be able to race through fatigue, just healing and stuff. Yeah, nice. Okay. Oh, God, dude. Every game. That was an 18-turn game. Game. I don't have time for this. This is a 30 minute game. I absolutely do not have time for this. I actually like more removal here. That's good. I feel like there's a few times I wish I had more removal. I, th I honestly think signature legendaries are just a really low effort way for Blizzard to monetize uh, cosmetics. They are about a thousand times easier to make, I assume, than diamond cards because I could do the. I could personally do the uh, signature legendary effect, the kind of like monochrome uh, artwork effect in about 30 seconds in Photoshop. And I'm assuming the person at Blizzard who's doing them can do it even faster. So <laughs> clearly there's, there's probably a little more quality and precision bundled in there than I would do, but they're very fast to make, I suspect. And I'm cool with that. If people want to buy them and they're easy for Blizzard to make, hey, that's, that's fine from a cosmetic standpoint. All day, it works for me. I'm going to keep the Benedictus, actually. <sighs> okay, heavy armor. Thank you, heavy armor. So, mummy magic and recycling. That is actually pretty spooky. I'm going to hold on to this shard, because they might have some, like, gray bow boards and stuff we have to deal with. I'm spooked. We have a lot of board clears we might need in this matchup. Or just, you know, potentially a lot of healing, too, I guess. Pretty likely to get coin. Maybe we wait on this at least a little bit. Like at least let the coin burn through here. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can tempo the hyper blaster. Not usually a big risk. Played a beetle, no biggie. We just heal through that all day, no problem. No risk. It's funny. Play, cards like play to beetle are actually a lot stronger against me. I feel like this deck really does train you though to like not overreact. It's it's kind of nice. It's a good uh, good reminder basically not to freak out. Just take your time, be patient. Ruby and eggs are still a little annoying. This is building into a really good silence eventually though. <laughs> Yep, this game is definitely going to take an eternity. Yep, I uh, guess I'm going to be up until uh, 3 a.m. today playing all the new stuff. Because <laughs> I really wanted to get a standard deck today, too. Oh, boy. Still feels a little premature for Shard. I mean, I'm only taking three damage. That's still well within the, the, the means of my hero power here. Next turn, I probably need to play some card because of hand size. Maybe a henchman. This is kind of annoying for the henchman, though. So I've played one card through six turns. Great, great, uh, great work. <laughs> it's just really doing work here. Hunter's Insight. All right, pushing a little more pressure now. I can get the Ramara, guys, by the way, but just a reminder, as always, it doesn't work with heavy armor. That always tricks some people. Uh, it won't work. Don't get excited. I mean, you can be excited about it. It's, it's probably fine to be excited about, but it won't work. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you're thinking. Um, all right, probably time to play the henchman, which probably means I hit the 5-1 just so that it doesn't take an easy trade here. Means I'm also drawing a card though. Shh. Oh, no, I'm not. Thank you. Thank you, Hyper Blaster. The like super immune, unkillable priest here. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Yeah, we could probably wait until Plague. I don't know if it's going to be the right Plague because... Well, I don't know. We kind of want a Grey Bow, but we have the Shard too, so... Maybe okay. It's probably not a bad Plague. We also have to keep in mind there's Zyrella and how, like, threatening that might be in any given instance. Is this worth hitting? I mean, if I'm going to Plague anyway next turn, the answer is always no. Don't think I want to Benedictus too soon in this game, by the way, because they're going to have a lot of death rattles that aren't actually all that good for me. I'm better off with removal. Like, their death rattles are two to one advantage over mine, thanks to the reborn side of things. So I don't really want to Benedictus too soon. 
think the moral of the story here is that I'm gonna tempo a visitor and just heal my face and plague next turn probably. Just utter patience here. Their decks probably got some removal, they just haven't played it yet, you know, they've been playing out minions, because what else are they gonna do? I'm not playing any cards. But, uh... You know, I don't want living seeds, for instance, in my draw. If I start drawing a bunch of living seeds, we're gonna lose. No question about that. Now, bottom feeders does give them a little bit of a fatigue edge, maybe, but that still uh, would, would win me the game in a uh, fatigue state regardless, because I could just leave those on board and only take two damage per turn or whatever. But I'm going to Plague of Death them regardless, so I think it's okay. Now, again, the, the Plague the does technically expose me a little bit to a Grey Bow, but I think that's okay. Um... We have a shard for any sort of emergencies for Greybow. So not too big of a deal. Um, I need an answer to the Nathrius. I need an answer to Greybows. That's really not too bad. These are scarier. Uh, we've got Zyrella problems later, right? That's going to be a lot of armor gain and just nonsense. Some egg, some Nerubian eggs, some... Uh, I guess only one of those since I did uh since I did destroy those, but still enough to think about. <sighs> okay, so hit me for three per turn. It's a little bit closer to being scary. Yeah, it could be a thief turn. They still have coin, but between these in particular. Yeah, we might be able to get a gray bow, honestly. Yeah, kinda wanted to heal. Yeah, I'm gonna start with a heal and see what happens. Let's uh Let's make a decision after that. We might still Theotar. We don't have to play the result immediately, right? It's fine. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, mm, I think healing potion's okay. We're not looking to get rid of our hero power anytime soon. And uh, I don't know. Anduin feels like it might be helpful for them. Certainly Benedictus seems helpful. So sure, we can give them a healing potion. That's okay. <clears throat> Could take my healing potion right back, I guess. Be quick. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's amusing. I don't know if that was the best result, but I basically just got it back at a discount. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. I think it's better to get one of their cards for Harvester, but whatever. I mean, they had a lot of garbage they had to look like, so... Definitely not too stressed about it. Well, now their deck, by the way, does get more useful for me. Now that I have Zyrella, there's like a more substantial payoff there. Um, okay, this is definitely a more annoying board. Still not like, I don't know. I, I definitely don't want to rip the shard too early, I know. Because, again, Greybow risks. This kind of feels like a decent Benedictus turn. Their deck has gotten thin enough that it's not going to totally eat through my deck. I do have Death Rattle payoffs now, so getting the Death Rattle minions out of their deck doesn't feel as detrimental as it did in the past. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's Benedictus time. What do you guys think? Let's do it. Uh, this actually heals me pretty substantially, but I'm going to hero power anyway. Hero power anyway. Do 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 kill the Mita then Benny? Um we could, but I'm not too stressed about the Mita. I mean, I'm hoping to silence it anyway, but but no, eh, it's okay. I like the idea. We've held for psychic screams. We could maybe hold for a Mita. It's not insane. I'm just thinking more about like this is a good window to play it more than anything. Alright, so they're hitting me for five. That is actually a little bit stressful. Shard here still feels early, because I just know they're gonna have a gray bow, right? Play it. Play that Grey Bow, bro. You saw me use my silence. Play the Grey Bow. Come on. I know you have it. Play that Grey Bow. Come on. Play it. Play the Grey Bow. Play it. Play the Grey Bow. Oh. Interesting. Okay. All right. Makes it a little easier for me to kind of deal with all this and recover. I don't really care that that stuff's there. I just need it to be hidden away, you know? There's a couple things. Uh, well, actually, still a lot of stuff coming out, I guess. There's quite a few Reborns, wasn't there? <clears throat> okay. Squirrel out. Cool. 
Double psychic turn looks pretty decent. Uh, heal here. If I go double psychic, I am a little bit overdraw risk. Really a lot overdraw risk. What do I overdraw that I hate? Psychic scream. Psychic scream maybe? I need a scream probably at some point. You haven't drawn a single one of their cards yet. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I don't love this. They're probably going to kill both. So I am very likely to burn a card. I could just dump a healing potion, but that feels very wasteful. And I think the shard is too early too. I just... Until I see the Psychic Scream right, I don't think I can shard. I think the Grey Bow is too risky. Be quick. I don't know, man. Am I, how many minions are in this? A lot. Are they going to meet it back or not? I don't know. Let's see. No. Good play. Good play. Good play. Good play. No meet it for you. So these die, I burn a card, hopefully not Psychic Scream. I think that's really important for us. I mean, I'm most likely to burn some random Druid card, honestly. How do I have 32 cards in deck? I didn't realize there's that many, honestly. Oh, gosh. Ooh, that's fun. It's buffed. For Arzirella, this sort of stuff starts to matter. So that's cool. What do we get here? Oh, composting is not good. We don't need that. Hand is already too full. I wouldn't mind them composting though. Burn to fatigue faster, right? That'd be nice. I mean, I I think we're going to eventually arrive at an end game state where they have some number of Midas. Currently it looks like three and a weapon. And I'm just kind of healing through the Midas and the weapon as best I can. Two plus a weapon would be a lot better than three plus a weapon. So a silence on a Mita here actually might be relevant, guys, to prevent them from getting extra Mitas in that end game state. Because I, I only ever have like three guaranteed healing. And even with fatigue, then it's actually kind of like four. So they've had two, they have two fragments in the deck or one currently. I think we might have to shard now. I think we have to shard and then uh either stall any kind of gray bow or just find that psychic stream for the gray bow eventually because i think the Midas beat me late if i don't deal with them i mean i guess i can silence them later at the same i don't actually have to silence them now do i it doesn't really matter if i silence them now or later it doesn't really make a difference but what am i doing right now basically nothing tempoing this to draw a card here I kind of need to heal my face too, though. Oh, that's so bad. Just running out of resources here, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. To... <sighs> All right. I don't know. This is not a great turn by any means, but composting times two. I preserve the shard for the meters later. Uh. I don't know, I just, I need to find Psychic Scream, I need to find Sunwell, I need to find Palm Reading, I need to find Identity Theft. My draws are just so bad on average. I think I, I think I've been addicted to, I don't even know if I ever want to been addicted to this game. Regardless, I think I did it too soon, but I don't know if it's ever right. <laughs> it seems like it's always kind of bad. Are they going to kill this or not? Maybe not. Ruin handles the 8-7, but nothing else. Mita already back. How much of their deck is squirrels? Like, how soon are we getting into fatigue? Five more acorns, nine cards away. I'm just not good at these swarms of endless minions. These these squirrels are kind of like the worst case scenario for me. Because I don't have those little chippy AoEs that deal with these well. Okay, there's an actual Mita in the deck, huh? It's kind of nice. I mean, am I just playing it? Can I... I can take theirs, I guess, right? That's kind of nice to get an extra one. Five damage showing on board's not too scary. What's yours will be mine. Do we think this one's still in the deck? Oh, it's in hand. They just Oh, they just drew it. Oh, dude, clutch. That's great. Okay. That's awesome. I think we hold this maybe. Card draw later might be relevant. Let's hold it. 
Okay, this game, dude. And why is every game with this deck so exhausting? Amitas are really good for me, though, because, of course, the life gain is just outrageously powerful when I'm... You know, it's, it's healing a billion every time, basically. I think this deck really needs a Condemn-type card. I think that's the one thing we're really missing, is a Condemn. I feel like I always wish I had a Condemn every time. Shadow Madness feels like it's going to be really important against specific kinds of minions, so I don't want to use it here just like clear that 8-1 or anything, I don't think. <sighs> oh, why didn't they Mita that? Oh my god, why didn't they... Why did they kill the Mita first? Oh my god, right? Right? We could have a Mita in there. Uh, thank you, I guess. That's awesome for me. I I guess there is some world where like I hit the Mita here, but I don't know, man. Actually feeling like a pretty bad turn, all things considered. Not like we're in a big, big hurry though, so I, think I just need to remain patient again. I just need to find an answer though. I I mean I'm just stalling basically into nothing right now until I find a psychic scream or they somehow buff into a shadow word ruin you know i don't I don't really have a path forward i mean i can just try to chip through all the stuff over time get a shadow word void you know these sorts of monster boards though are really i mean I will say, actually, this weapon is making my life better, isn't it, for the Shadow Word Ruin? Suddenly I clear way more than I would have otherwise. Might be time to use it too, honestly. Uh, I could Shadow Madness into nothing, man. Huh. They're all they're all big. It's it's enabling the uh the ruin but disabling everything else. I mean the the, the carge is okay, I guess, if I wanted to. I could take the second loot hoarder. That's maybe good to draw a card. I like that, I like that. Yeah, let's do this. This is getting a little out of hand, maybe. Wait on Ruin? Really? Why? You think it's gonna get worse? I mean, to be fair, I can kill off two things here and leave them at just five damage again. <sighs> okay, I actually buy it. I, I hate when you guys are right. <laughs> I hate when you guys are right. It always bugs me. <laughs> I hate when you guys are right, but yeah, you're right. It, it's not enough pressure actually to freak out yet. You're probably right. Uh, maybe I could still Selene though, like the, the Mita. No, I don't really want them trading in though. I could probably just tempo this. They're not gonna trade in that, are they? Maybe they would though. Maybe they would. A little bit worried about hand size, but not too, too much. Although, I don't know guys, now this, like now I can't clear as much of the leftovers, but I guess it's not fun. If I want to take a big heal turn, I can with healing potions, so probably not a big deal. Okay, dude, it's turn 16 in this game again. I just like do this <laughs> every time. Oh, I can take that off the Shadow Madness and trade into their board. Oh my God, dude, that is the perfect play. Oh, this has got to be the turn. I mean, it's going to eat more minions again later, but this turn's too good, right? This is too good. I can't pass this up. I have Anduin for emergency. It's still going to find a Psychic Scream eventually. Going to draw a card here. This is too good. Still have my weapon too for for other emergencies. Acorns are great. I'm gonna clean those up anyway. Well, not if there's too many because I need that to summon. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't account for this, but I guess this is a good backup plan, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that wasn't the plan. They lost all those minions. That was not the plan. I promise. Another acorn burned. Another acorn burned. Okay, down to four cards. So we're definitely entering the, like, fatigue state of the game now, which is nice. This will wipe this particular board. We did lose a little value, unfortunately, but... Druid has 100 HP. They do almost have 100 HP. But I have endless HP. <laughs> Mine never goes away. I never die. Did they just burn their weapon? Uh, they just burned their weapon. I think. Yep, that's two acorn cards. They just burn the weapon. Well, that's good. That helps us out a lot. Also, why use the weapon, I wonder? Couldn't you just trade it in the minions anyway and hit face, maybe? 
I don't know, either way, that helped a lot. That's good news. Grill reads for attack. That might have been a whoopsie scenario. Oh! Yes, obviously. Uh, my deck gives me even more fatigue protection. Mita! Another Mita! I mean, sure. Amulet's scary later, but I now have the thing to answer it. Dude, I'm getting a lot of Mitas. And they're really good for me. Okay, even more of their deck was Acorns, gosh. Somehow I still have 25 cards in my deck, dude. I don't know how that is. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like I have been drawing cards for a hundred years. I kind of need to silence these Mitas. Oh, I guess I could just Adara then, right? Because I can silence a Greybow later. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just, um... We'll just Adara these then. Then I have even more Mitas. I mean, I can wait a turn. I, there's no no urgency here, I suppose. You can even just Natalie one for now and just chill. Really no hurry. Yeah, we don't know if they have a Grey Bow, just, just in case. Like, that's a way to lose the game that we need to play around, I think. <sighs> um, It's like a free Natalie cycle. I mean, just if I want a big Natalie, I can take it. Does it matter, though? Like, they're gonna hit it for... I mean, why not, right? Like, do I need this later? I have I have Adara, I have Anduin, I have sh uh, Shard. I don't know. This might be wasted, but I also think it's okay. So, <laughs> whatever. So, let's see. Uh, they're going to have... I mean, I did put one extra thing in the amulet, I guess. Like, one extra Mita in the amulet. That's a little bit of a concern, perhaps, like an extra death that actually resolves the instead of, you know, via Dara them. But I'm hoping them, that they'll commit to a bigger board here and then I can Adara it. I need to be sure not to build too big of a board ever so that they don't Adara. I mean, I guess they could just Adara this board, but it's only enemies. So they only get two things. If they Adara first, I can Adara their Adara. So that's not a big risk. I mean, if we stay here, I'll just hero power all day and hit them in the face, right? There's no reason for me to do anything here. Um, this is not enough damage to ever kill me, so. This does mean their Adara, though, gets three units in it, which is pretty good. I could, I can't Adara now because, yeah, their Adara is going to have three units. Can I kill off my own guys anyway? Not really, right? So we just wait, I think. Uh, it seems like they're gonna get some Adara value, but we just don't commit any additional resources, right? And we'll be fine. I think I just burn a card even. I don't think it matters. This just gives them an extra fatigue draw. It's true that they don't know I have Adara. Hopefully this burn doesn't matter much. Okay, there's their Adara. All right, so now we can Adara. And then silence the final couple. Oh, that does give them extra amulet trades, though. That's really sneaky good. So, do we wait one more turn for the Adara? Because we can get those Midas very often, right? And I'm only taking four. I think we just wait a turn, right? What's the hurry? No. Why not? I only take four, that's fine. They're gonna get, well, they may not play anything, I guess, but why not greed, right? Like, I I'm losing one health per turn. I can do this for nine turns? So what's the rush? You know, they don't play anything. They burn at least some card later. Like, yeah, if these were hitting me for full life. I think this play would be really bad, but since I'm only, net I'm only losing net one per turn, what's the risk? Oh, I can play minions now, that's true. Yeah, I have no reason to actually hold anything, particularly like this garbage. I can just play this, like who cares? This doesn't matter at all. Um, okay, pretty good. Surprise, six moon fires. Oh God, that would happen to me, honestly. I mean, just for emergencies maybe, is this fine? I don't want them killing off the Adara is the only thing, but I also want them thinking about it a little bit. I don't know, this could turn into a Mita later, but I just want to create some hand space again, I think. Dude, I played this weapon on turn 3, and it's turn 22, and it's still active. I haven't, uh, I haven't used it yet. I do hate that this Adara gave them so many extra amulet shuffles, because 
I don't actually have a, a guaranteed answer to the next amulet board, right? An amulet board here becomes a bit of a pickle for me. But again, currently no urgency. Just, we can, we can stay in this board state forever. More or less, with our current healing arrangements. We might eventually have to... To pivot. Oh, I can shadow madness, dude. Um... Am I am I better off just shadow madnessing into this Mita right now and just killing the Adara and getting the Mita? Like, yes, the Adara has value, but remember that I'm not actually getting that Adara presumably for, you know, 10 draws. You know what I mean? Like, that's not really very useful. The other Adara? I mean, it might be at some point. Oh, Adara only have one. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. It doesn't die, it doesn't die, it doesn't die, it doesn't die. Yep, 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 yep. Trying to get too smart, trying to get too smart. That won't work. I mean, I just don't think I can rip this too soon, so I think we just chill again then, right? Be quick. I need to be a little bit careful about burst damage, I think. I don't want to draw here because I'll overdraw. I'm basically making this to say, like, respect the burst damage just a little bit more. I'm hoping they commit one more round of things, though, for this Adara. And then maybe we can go, but currently no real rush. So they have two amulets we have to think about. I mean, eventually if I just kill this Adara, I can literally just do these three forever. They'll have to commit an additional resource, right? Uh, Is this at all a risk? I don't think so usually, right? They could make me draw, but does making me draw actually cost me anything? I think is the question. I don't think so. Maybe very occasionally, but I don't know. I say that and then watch me watch me take like 12 draws here and lose somehow. <laughs> I just, you know, I value hand space, so. Okay. I'm about to pee my pants, by the way. I just want you guys to know that. It's pretty important for me that you know that. About to pee my pants. Oh, they do have a gray bow. And we're going to play it, I guess, right? I think we play it, don't we? What are they gonna do? They have to play theirs, don't they? I don't know, man. Still don't know how to win this game, right? Uh, this draws me a card. Maybe I have to wave here. Uh, we can just dump this, I guess. I don't actually know if any of these are from them. Is this from them? I think I discovered it, right? I'm gonna trade this off just in case of emergencies. I don't want to burn any more cards. Oh, this is from them, so I can actually steal their onboard. Oh, no, no, not steal. No, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> that won't work. Okay. Um, yeah, so now I have a gray bow to add even extra layers of defense into this whole wall of defense that thing that we're doing, right? Uh, and I could also maybe Zyrella that gray bow at some point, although that does cost me a hero power every other turn, so I don't know if that's ever worth it or not. Uh, what got the gray bow here? This did? Okay, so we just trade that in. That's fine. <laughs> uh, is this from them or is that in my deck? I think that's in my deck, but this is probably from them. So it might kill the Adara if I draw it right now, which would be handy. I could try to trade it up for value, but wait, why isn't she glowing anymore? <laughs> dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> what a roll, dude. I think we go ahead and kill this off, right? It's kind of fine. I don't think it hurts anything, does it? They get it back, but it's debuffed at least. Doesn't have taunts or anything. Oh no, they burn it. It does help. It helps a lot. Oh, one less Mita. Okay, now they have to go, right? We completely changed. Oh, that doesn't kill me though. That just clears the board. Okay, so we're back to parody again. That being a 12 just does not matter at all. Um, okay, I'm just going to tempo this guy, I guess. Maybe I just killed the Denathrius. Is like, am I ever going to have a bigger, scarier target than that? This no, right? Just prevent any weird shenanigans or something? You can no longer steal Adara. Yeah, I told you guys why I didn't care about that, remember? 
We talked about it for a brief moment. How I said it's gonna be such an unlikely thing to draw anyway that it doesn't really matter. Okay, I guess I'll save that for emergencies or something. I don't even know. So they're rapidly advancing in fatigue. They cannot wait forever. They have to build the board soon, at which point we Adara. It's the second board I'm a little more nervous about. Uh, this might just be the shard turn because we can just kill this straight up. Uh, and then it's not that scary on board, though it doesn't demand the Adara. Right. So silence here. Kill the Grey Bow. Heal again. Oh, that actually draws me a card. That's bad. I don't want that. Shoot. Oh, we have their organic Adara too, guys. I didn't realize that. Did you guys know that? Uh, Wave of Apathy is really good. Is there any card in my deck better than Wave of Apathy? I don't think so, right? Because we have the, the Shadow Madness. Okay, there is zero chance we lose now. With two Adaras, there's just no, uh, no path to losing here. And the Psychic Stream too, which it would be a last last ditch effort, but could somehow be relevant, I guess. The void is okay, Natalie is, I mean, Natalie's a card, yeah. Okay, it's fine though. Still zero urgency here. No need to and win. They didn't even hit face here. So, I mean, is there literally anything for me to do? Just in turn and let them die to fatigue, right? They have to commit one of these soon, or they're just gonna die to fatigue. As soon as they do, we Adara. Um, might be nice to kill one of these. Can I just Zyrella safely? Well, no, I lose my hero power by Zyrella, so no, we don't really want a Zyrella yet. Uh, we could maybe go ahead for the wave and just kill off one of these Mitas so that we're back to three damage, because three damage is an important breakpoint for us. Uh, oh, it doesn't die. Why do I? Oh, I'm an idiot. Why do I think this every single time? Okay, I just wanted to create hand space for Sunwell, that's all. <laughs> I just don't, don't, uh, there you go. Perfect, that's what we needed. It's just making hand space, guys. You're just not on my level yet, okay? You'll get there someday. <laughs> I literally tried to do this three times this game. Every time you guys are like, no, don't do it. It doesn't work. And then I tried it again like an idiot every time. Just make an ad space. It's all good. Oh. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, crap. I did not think about that. At least it's zero mana, right? <laughs> Oh my god, dang it, dude. <laughs> oh, shoot. Actually annoying. Real Rage, uh, just kill a minion with this, right? All right. Uh, okay, we should be fine. We should be fine. What a game plan! <laughs> That's so amazing. Uh, they have to commit a board soon, or at least a little bit of a board. So we haven't seen either of those amulets, right? That's my big concern here is the amulets still potentially pose a little bit of a threat, but not enough to freak out, I don't think. Probably a good turn to use the Desperate Prayer so that uh, we don't heal them for no reason. And we're just hanging tight, still only taking four max. The Mita right now can test that, so they might feel like they have to kill the Mita. And very soon they're dead, right? They're taking 11 and then 12 and then 13. So basically three more turns. They cannot wait any longer. They have to play an amulet if they have one. <clears throat> I mean, they're literally just running out of turns. Maybe they're hoping fatigue beats me, I guess. I, I don't know what their game plan is here. We can tempo a dude, it's fine. We don't need him. Don't want to risk the Zyrella because of the hero power lineups, right? Can be a little bit risky. There's 11, 12 and 13 will be enough. 
they i mean they've, they've if they have an amulet they've waited too long right it, it now it's too long now they're gonna play it now we adara i mean are they planning like fatigue to beat me i don't know what their game plan is here uh void is not lethal yet void actually runs a big risk of locking out my board so that i can't play adara so i don't think we even void right like why why bother they may be waiting on me to use adara they might but they're going to die next turn so now when they play it it doesn't matter because they've waited too long i mean i guess they have the amara so they're just gonna try to wait me out but this just doesn't work you know they're trying to wait it out but you have to commit it or they never get to attack in time maybe they're thinking fatigue will kill me do they have like some kind of some kind of mill card you know like is that their plan some kind of weird like mill card they're trying to mill me with <sighs> like they're gonna try to make me draw a bunch of cards all at once and do a bunch of damage with like a cold light oracle or something i think their hand is literally a dara and two amulets though right so i don't think that's actually a concern this burns a mita but do i care yeah, I guess they want me to pee my pants. Yeah, I think that's the only strategy here. I guess this doesn't really lock out the board. It only hits six. I mean, it could if they had some way to do that, but I don't know. A little risk, maybe. So this is an amulet now. Do we have lethal, though? Because what are they taking fatigue-wise? They're taking 14. So six here is actually lethal, right? Um. Oh, no, they heal off the lifesteal, so not quite... We're taking 14, 14 and six is not lethal. You are safe now. So we just, uh, oh, recycle too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Avoid the snake. Not really worried about the Adara here. I think we can't lose now. I think it's absolutely always fine. We have the Adara for the next board. It's just we don't take fatigue anymore, so there's just like no way to lose. They, Amara, whatever. They... They play Amara. That's fine. We just, uh... Oh, it was Compost. They only had one amulet. That was one amulet cycling the whole time? Oh my god. What turn were we on? I can't keep doing this. I have to go to bed at some point. Oh my god, dude. That was a 42 minute game. 36 turns. 36. I don't believe it. We've had a 44 minute game and a 42 minute game. I can't keep doing this. Holmes is definitely on brand for us, but I, I think we have too many cards all the time. I think I just take the poison. I gotta pee guys, I'm gonna pee my pants. I'll be right back. I'll be I'm literally gonna pass out guys. We're three hours into this run and we're on We've only, we've only played seven games. Oh my God. Yes, we, uh, we are definitely winning off heavy plate on turn one, but indeed it takes the opponent an hour to realize it. <laughs> Can you get new cards and duels? Uh, the Sunwell. Yeah, the new Sunwell card. Uh, but that's it. I mean, you can get uh, cards that are new to duels with Frozen Throne cards, but not uh, not new new cards, I guess. Not new new cards. Lucia versus the League. The League of Explorers cannot fail. I do things my own way. Okay, that sucks. Uh, visitor might be okay, I guess. Sure. I don't know. Can be fine. I'm almost hoping I lose just so I can go play standard. I really wanted to play Sunwell Rogue, man. Yeah, I don't know how Death Knight will be implemented in the duels. I also am very curious. Surely they add like a good, you know, Death Knight, new, new Death Knight hero, right? Like, uh, I don't know, Sour Fang or something. The Sun Sour Fang or... Do we have any examples of Death Knights that showed up in like other modes already, like solo adventure stuff, or like uh, maybe some of the people from Nax Ramus or something, like heroes where they already have a portrait and everything? Because I think 
already having a portrait or designs really helps. Uh, moon fires, by the way, guys, are very spooky. This might actually be a hard, hard counter. They just need to get to 10 moon fires and we die. Now, I mean, that's easier said than done, but you can chain quite a few in a given turn since they cycle off of each other. Um, so not feeling as good here, that's for sure, which is great. Run Sunwell in your duels deck? We did. It's it's actually been good, too. It's been relevant a couple times. Last game, we got a uh, an Abyssal Curse. Uh, what's that card called? Uh, Drag Below. And we got Mana Bind. And we played them in the same turn. And I got a free Abyssal Curse that dealt damage to me in my own hand. And it was it was beautiful. <laughs> we got a Dinomancy. No, we actually did get a couple really good uh, Sunwells, honestly. I'm memeing mostly, but they've been okay a few times. This is nightmare board for me. I'm really bad at these sorts of boards. We'll probably have to henchman and just hope for the best. Oh, that's real bad. Uh, we're, we're basically dead, honestly. I gotta hit one of these in my weapon. It's terrifying. Oh god, we are so dead. Th this is, uh... Real, real bad. I mean, I think there's a very good chance I'm dead this turn. This is six damage on board. Uh, they only need four moon fires. They've got coins. They've got... Oh, that's bad, too. Oh, I'm very dead. Okay, well, at least it ended quick. This merciful game ended quickly. Uh, there you go. Please, end my suffering. Please. <laughs> this has been a more than satisfying run for YouTube. This does not need to go to 12. <laughs> we've had so many really fun interesting cool games and we've still got one more loss too so god knows oh look at that dude zero mass on well that's fun that's really cool moonfire actually you get a lot of cards in hand thank god we're dead did they miss lethal nope i didn't miss lethal <laughs> they got it oh hey that was like the little event quest thing i haven't been noticing those all right that was good thank you counterbalancing the universe there um boy these are bad real bad uh i mean these are almost never going to be good soul priest clears with like gift of the naru is like the best thing i can think of this is sort of harmless i guess like these don't hurt me but they're not great of course these are too conditional we don't have any other dragons for the dusk breaker i don't think studies gives me one but that's so unlikely to connect all right We'll take middle there. The least harmless, I think. At least dead hand. And ooze could theoretically be pretty nice. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, dude. Uh, three minutes, dude. After this, I mean, look at this. Forty-four minutes. I mean, literally, only game one was short, and then it's it, like a twelve-minute game's a long game in duels, honestly. But we had 16, 12, 44, 15, 30 and 42 minutes a 30 turn game and a 36 turn game we were actually getting close to turn limit 45 is turn limit so we were nine turns away if they've been able to gain more life hopefully we just find a mind tether priest here and i can <laughs> i can play something else i'm having fun but i just you know wanted to do more than do one duels run all night for four hours Paladin, okay. Paladin can get pretty wide on board. That's a little spooky. Really wish we'd found like a condemn bucket somewhere along the way and somehow we just never did. Shard and evil though both seem pretty good against wider board threats. That's nice. That's real bad. That's a dead draw. Completely lost. Okay, extra bodies, extra health. Not too, too terrible. Does imply actually, I'm, I'm, I'm happier that, that we're seeing this and then Divine Shields. Divine Shields would be a lot harder to beat because it would imply like a faster start, you know? This this sort of indicates to me their deck's a little bit slower, a little bit more spell-based. And generally, oh, but they have dudes. Oh, maybe not actually. Oh, dudes are bad. Dudes are real bad. Um, Okay, well, I don't know now. Could be a, like 3-3 deck. Uh, no, not 3-3 deck with dudes. I guess it's literally just dudes. I, I don't know, man, but dudes are bad. Dudes are annoying. A lot of 1-1s can beat us. That's scary. 
Point and Psychic Psychic, though, is good for two reasons. One, it's going to give me a little bit of a read on their hand. And, of course, number two, it contests <clears throat> dudes really nicely. I am losing my voice. I recorded so much video earlier today, and now I've been streaming nonstop for, ever since then. We're running out of steam here. <clears throat> my voice is like, you can hear it cracking a little bit. <clears throat> oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got to drink some more water. I'm going to die. So that's a real pain. I don't know if that's where the shard yet, though. It doesn't feel like it. It's going to start here. Man, I just really cannot play a psychic into that. That's such a good play. Dang. What are we looking at here, man? Shadow Madness is usually going to be better for me, right? Sunwell's greedy. We can activate it evil next turn, but it doesn't clear the big guy. Unless I silence first, which we might, we might silence first. Chance I'm dead, right? Just chance they play a weapon and I don't know. It's not super likely to be dead, but not impossible. If they play a weapon, I'd have trouble staying alive next turn because I don't have any cheap healing. For duty. Um, okay, that's fine, actually. That's fine. Silence into uh, evil here is really, really nice. We don't really have a choice either. Kind of has to happen. Okay. Three is honestly a little to work with. I'm okay with three. We can maybe do something like poison, henchman, heal. Because the heal's, you know, so significant every time. They went super crazy big. We could psychic scream too without a, a huge risk, I think. This isn't super crazy big, but it is kind of super crazy wide. Is that is that scary? Do I ever need to psychic scream this? It doesn't feel like it to me, but five minions is a lot. I mean, usually like incriminating psychic here is okay. But if it's like repentance, like <clears throat> I could be in trouble. Still not technically dead on board or anything, but could be pretty scary. Might have a big recovery turn when we hit scream hero power on eight. I could see that being really nice. Need this to actually connect, unlike last time, though, where it got cleared too easily. Uh, that's that's a little better, at least. Eating three things I'm cool with. Oh, that's a great roll. Wow. Okay. Awesome minion. Hero power psychotrons. Great. We know that this shape of thing worked fairly well, too. It's not going to be something that's easy for them to clear, necessarily. Uh, I guess I am though, if I go for that burning a card, so I might be a little bit better off with henchmen in this case. I do definitely want to draw. Uh, I'm worried about Avenge. It doesn't actually remove any damage here, but it does remove a minion, which is honestly as or more important to me. So let's go ahead and do this. And I think we can absolutely tempo a North Shark Cleric. We might have a galloping s idiot problem, but... It's okay, too. Not the end of the world yet. Okay. <clears throat> so it feels a little bit more like Reckoning, maybe. Well, I don't I don't actually know what it is, but... Not too scary, thankfully. And I do feel like we're starting to turn the corner here a little bit. Was very, very harrowing that one turn into the Excavated Evil, but now I'm feeling a little safer. <sighs> a little bit safer. I don't think this is Psychic Stream worthy, but... It's not the bad kind of board for Psychic Scream, honestly. Not bad Shadow Madness. We can clear off the Caravan that way more easily. Trade off into some minions. Dump my own Psychotron. I don't hate that. Test of Reckoning. Seems good, right? Let's do it. Oh, that's so good, dude. Wow. That makes me so happy. That really turns the corner, I think. I would normally hit face, but that's just not how we win the game. We always win via, you know, exhausting resources, via attrition, via fatigue. So I think, <laughs> I think I hit minions. I mean, this may be a deck that doesn't have a ton of reactivity, so it might be a deck that's more feasible to hit face with. We don't know that the Paladin's gonna have like removal. Seems like they're pretty smorky and low cost and just playing a lot of 1-1 so far, honestly. So maybe a little easier to go face. Side I definitely do not want to Archbishop this deck, though, so far. Their hand is just utter garbage. Like, really bad hand. 
Let's see what it's got. Some garbage card here, but the other two might be good. We're gonna have full info here. Definitely Biggin is uh, the most threatening. Uh, the Flash of Light's good for me, but I don't really need it right now. Um, yeah, they can have that, that's fine. Unlikely to be very good, right? So if you just play the Biggin right now, man, seems good, doesn't right it? Away. We know they didn't have any removal in hand. I mean, clearly draw on top deck some, but not usually a big, big, crazy likelihood. Okay. Looking good, man. Looking good. This is nice. They're going to need some kind of great miracle draw here to pull out of this. That random discover stuff could give them uh, removal. Clearly some consecration type effects, equality type effects trading in. You know, there's a few upsides there. I have myself, I'm getting a little light on resources. Only six cards in hand. Might need to heal a minion soon to draw. Still not worried about my face damage too much. I don't think that's a big concern. How much on board damage do we have here? Uh, 10, 13, and eight is 21, 22. So I'm getting pretty close to just killing them. Don't know if that's gonna feel worth it or not though. Not much else to do though, is there? We go mostly face and think about tidying up a few guys, kind of just to make sure I don't like take any base damage. Like they're getting some divine shields too. So just denying those can be, can be nice. Could maybe just even shadow madness, but I don't think I'm too worried about these getting divine shields or anything. Oh, and they even have to have a spell for that, which they do, but you know, may not even line up well for them. And they may care more about the future minions anyway. So just creating enough pressure to give me outs, but uh, respect the board a little. Uh, do you know where we can find new decks with the Frozen Throne expansion? I would check out the uh, YouTube. A lot of good YouTubers out there who uh, <laughs> post really nice, great decks. Thickening buff does actually remove a lot of damage. I'm not really setting up for lethal anymore. Man, they really went hard here, didn't they? Kind of a jerk move, man. What do we have? Nine and five is 14. I think I got a psychic scream. It's gonna give them some really bad top decks. But what else can I do? Gross. It got out of hand faster than I wanted. I think we get some tempo back. I need to start drawing cards. Like I'm getting a little little desperate for card draw here. Hopefully they just start top decking one ones though. There was a lot of dudes in that uh, psychic stream. Does make my fatigue uh, less likely to be good. Oh, to chill wind yeti into hand of protection. Wow, <laughs> I love it. It's actually kind of annoying, isn't it? More annoying than you'd like. Uh, Keeper can debuff it, but it's not really that good. I mean, I got to draw. I'm, I'm uh, desperate for cards here, man. Oh, cards. Yes. Excellent. Precisely what we needed. Cards. Thank you. Light bomb. Thank you. Need for greed. Oh, dang. Kind of still like the Shadow Madness hit here, though, honestly. Not exactly the spiciest play I'm ever going to make, but definitely solved some problems for me here. Okay. I'll play full cost for that honestly later. I, I need the I need the draw. Guaranteed. I don't want to trade it off. <clears throat> Alright, they're just top decking and they have a lot of bad top decks, so that's good news. Both I think they just have a lot of bad cards and also we know that uh we gave them a lot of garbage. So between the two, I think we're very happy. So this is six, seven, eight net two more damage here is 10 this does not go face so no lethals yet here i think we can start with the fortune teller let's start with a draw actually let's start with a draw i don't think we draw too many things that matter but just in case it's a spell specifically um yeah let's just go like this and hit face a lot Yeah, maybe here, just in case. 
one of those like yeah no why take the risk we're in a good spot needless to say wow dunbaldar's not gonna do it yeah man that got scary that got really scary that uh excavating evil was very very clutch which i think we kept in the mulligan too so that was a nice i think we're definitely getting some good uh good stats here but a couple turns too late really all right the unkillable priest gets to seven dude that's great made my duels run free hey lung problem thanks for the three months really nice hunter's insight we do have a lot of uh clunky big hands i like that hilt i mean <laughs> it's uh, you know cold war is fun it's easy to hit stuff with cold war too because you don't take a lot of damage yeah i think this is the good card but i think this is the fun card and this run's made it far enough and been long enough that i don't really care i'm gonna take the hilt we're gonna take the fun card Ah, uh, this is great yeah really really good better than that in a lot of scenarios people would probably concede earlier than we're seeing on average Ooh, do we keep the sun well early uh i don't think so please pay points first because i don't even know what you're talking about i didn't do the thing if a mod did it you gotta tell me well number one you gotta i, I don't know talk to the mods because i didn't set it up i don't know what the results are i don't know what the results are mods are doing it not me so i can't mods deal with it <laughs> mods figured out i don't know you're gonna be mean and bossy okay i don't think we keep sunwell random stuff is not good enough that's a powerful hand though that's a powerful hand what definitely would be the most fun to play in standard i've really thought about it rogue is kind of cool sometimes creating like copies and shenanigans and stuff that was always fun um probably not enough elementals for mage to feel good are there <sighs> be our guest i mean what what are the chances i i hit a be our guest off the top guys pretty dang small <laughs> let's wait <laughs> not not good not good mm. dang it <sighs> well now i'm annoyed <laughs> uh. oh did he top deck it did he have to top deck it or did it uh, oh it came on turn two yeah there's no turn two draw yeah okay 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 i'm less annoyed i'm less annoyed less annoyed it wasn't in hand in other words these are like good void targets already but uh yeah not not a lot going here I think I'm okay to hyperblast it. The pirates coming out aren't as scary as they used to be, right? Ever since it got nerfed, I don't think it's as big of a deal. This is still a good void target if we want to leave it around. Certainly don't mind taking a hit or two from it. That's not a big risk. If anything, a discounted pirate off spyglass could be good for me. I don't have much else going, so. Anchor getting big. Meek Mastery is actually, they got a lot of neutral pirates there. That's making them scarier again not really a problem ultimately for me yet but a little scarier oh okay they're gonna know what that is obviously so maybe wait till there's a key moment for that one uh we're just chilling for now uh we will uh avoid the man creek next turn probably depends on what the board looks like i guess but all right, another Meek Mastery. These are, I mean, they're stacking up already, right? There are really a lot of big dudes, kind of annoying. Thankfully, this weapon's keeping it in check. Hitting that early be our guest did not help. All right, that's a lot of value, but I don't usually have to interact too much with secrets or in too scary of a way. Things like Snake Trap are probably the scariest secrets for me. Oh, hey, we can take their Explosive Trap if we want. They're not going to play that next turn anyway. I'm going to wait. I, yeah, I think, I, think we, I think we can take it next turn. That's fine. Void here is okay. I eaten three fours. I think to protect my guys, it's all right. Pirate or amalgam? Pirate or amalgam? Does it matter? More pirates in hand. I mean, they're both pirates, so I, I don't know. Probably amalgam's better, actually. Doesn't really matter though. Why not two explosives? I'm saying I'm gonna do it next turn. I don't think they're gonna play it, so we can we can wait on it until it's better timed. <sighs> I mean, they might play it now. <laughs> of course, they played it now. Great. Even though these can't attack, they still decided to play it. Great. Excellent work. So happy for us. Um, okay, so this is going to kill a guy, but we don't really care. We can just go Plague right now. It's fine. Plague Henchman's okay. Well, no, Henchman dies for free. That's not good. Palm reading Plague is okay. 
holy water. Yeah. A little more fun, I think. Okay. Hey, Regicide, dude. Thanks for the prime sub. It might still steal it now that it's equipped, honestly, but I don't think so because you can't have two of these equipped. Like me playing it also equips it, so I don't know how that would work. Dude, play less mancricks. Oh my god. Wait, why did the mancricks have rush? Oh, there's a broom on board. <laughs> I'm looking over here. There's a freaking broom out. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> All right, another secret here is a little scarier. We're getting close to Plague of Death territory. Probably want to snipe this so the henchman takes better trades. Um, these two together, I can get a broom, but that's not very exciting. Let's see if this does anything with the secret, you know, pops out some snakes or something. Not sure what to expect, but could be a little risky. Only water, unfortunately, does not contest the man cricks. I mean, with an explosive trap, it kind of does, but not really. I mean, does this still try to steal it? I'm really curious what happens. Does anybody know? Like, does it try to eat it or anything? I'm just gonna see what happens. It doesn't even show it. It's not like a card, I guess. Yeah, okay. I'm fine with playing the minion to test snipe anyway, but... Oh, it's rat. Wow. Well, that's annoying. It would be cool if it just like yoinked it even if it could you know i can't have two so that's that's fine i'm cool with that but it would be cool if it still just like tried to eat it you know that would be totally nice hey doc warlock man thank you for the 300 bits dude appreciate it thanks for watching all the duels vods too it's awfully nice okay this sets up for explosive here and we can now holy water the rat not that i care about the copy in hand really but just just removal is nice Bonus secrets. We're getting close to Plague of Death, so that's, that's interesting. <sighs> kind of want to rip the gift to test like an ice trap because, well, I don't know. This board's not that scary. It's only four damage, right? It's probably okay to just try this. If it whiffs, it whiffs. We'll just Plague of Death next turn. It's no big, no big if, no big risk. Okay. Uh, we tested Ice Trap, so that's safe for this Plague unless they play a new secret. I mean, I don't know if we want a Plague. It's only three minions. It's not not exactly scary. At Okay, that looks like Plague. <laughs> Suddenly, that's a lot of minions. Yeah, we probably Plague that, right? They're getting really light on resources. Uh, yeah, I think this is fine now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I probably should have taken the Man Creek, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean... Uh, you know, like, of course, I don't care about hitting my face. Theoretically, you know, leaving the smaller minion on board is better if I'm playing stuff into it. So if I don't plague and I want to play something else, like, yeah, but probably, yeah, probably Mancrick is really better. I wouldn't mind a free Mancrick in my deck. I don't think that hurts anything. Wow, stalking pry already. That's actually pretty annoying. This can't attack, though, thankfully, so that's good. That actually removes a lot of pressure for me. That's a free legendary, right? Do we just take it? Give them a rat or something here. Um, oh. Uh. If I don't take Vanessa, I, I need to play around the Vanessa Theatar line. I need to end on, like, something bad. Maybe, like, a, a Northshire Cleric or something. Uh, I don't really need a Stalking Pride. I'm not going to get a Legendary Invitation, so I think we just take the King Crush, maybe? I don't know, though, man. Like, I, just one damage doesn't really matter, so maybe it's still Vanessa? Stalking Pride's not terrible for me. I can give them a rat. Cleric actually has more upside. I've already had one secret proc. Maybe just save it for later, though, because we don't really need that. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Oh. Hmm really better than hero power now let's wait on this could be great later they'll hit me for four slash five with the king crush right so what did i give them i forgot i gave them a doom rat yeah okay which is big but you know ultimately one damage again okay so these actually now die to the uh bunker sergeant which is really good we do transform this guy but that doesn't really matter uh we can get a king crush again if we want but why doesn't really do much. Psychic Scream? 
It's the kind of board that is good for Psychic Stream, I guess, but Ruin... Ruin's not bad either. If I don't want to shuffle stuff into their deck, I don't mind shuffling stuff into their deck. Ruin's cheaper if we think that matters. Psychic Stream works against all boards, but Ruin works really well against this board. I'm not drawing it this turn unless I want to play a Norshire Cleric and heal, but I don't really want to do that. I think I'll just draw it next turn and clear up next turn, right? Really no urgency here yet again. The courage of man shall not fail. At least not as far as we know. Be quick. Okay. So they have... I literally forgot what I gave them again. They have a rat. They have two other unknown cards. And some sequence of secrets we don't really know or care about. Actually, kind of need them to hit me a little more. Okay, that could be an ice trap now. This is a really good ruin. Frankly, if it gets ice trapped, that's fine. We'll just replay it. <laughs> that's not a problem, I promise. I could take my rat back, but why? So now we're just in a top deck battle. I will say I think on average my top decks are probably better. And I'm certainly in no hurry, so that's good. Uh, I don't know if I need any of these cards. I mean, this is not a bad Vanessa play. Oh, I'm not getting into playing the secret, so maybe that's double cross if it would be a decent Vanessa. Dart Trap? Did we test Dart Trap? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dude, they, they want minions off their hero power, right? But I'm just never proccing their secrets ever. Oh, that's a card we have to deal with, though. Okay, that's a little more annoying. That's actually a big card. They played around the Vanessa nicely, though, with the Porcupine here. Uh, I mean, we could definitely just silence it. It's still big for Meek Mastery, but it doesn't keep getting bigger. So that's one thing we could do. Uh, we could honestly go, like... Vanessa porcupine apotheosis and make like a really big porcupine or eh, bigger anyway not super in love with that either though uh i think we do shard this though so it doesn't get bigger right there's no reason to let it get bigger i guess we could play fortune teller first uh there's some risk in that but it's not too much Fine. Eat a couple minions here. Oh, the old grow. Okay. Big old free four eight. That's nice. Um, three minions on board is always fine though. That literally does nothing. Actually, maybe even better if we have four minions on board technically, so that uh, we uh, can heal and hero draw off our heal. Basically, it's nicer. How frustrating is this to play against? By the way. <laughs> I think I would be going crazy playing against this, honestly. I think I'd be losing my mind. I really think I would. Oh? Cheat death. Oh, fun. Okay. That's actually really good for them. I'm not happy about that, maybe. Extra. Uh, oh, no, no, no. They're not the front half Mana Creeks. No, I don't care about that. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking more Mana Creeks in their deck is bad. But those aren't putting him a deck, so that's totally, totally fine. Um, all right. They're hitting this, which must imply it's not a freezing trap, maybe? Or they just let it get frozen, right? Like, why wouldn't you just let it freeze if it's freezing trap, you know? I don't want a man crick for the Vanessa. Need to pick a good Vanessa card still. Yeah, this dude, this run is something else. Oh, Denathrius. Do they think that's lethal by any chance? No, they don't think it's lethal, but very good Vanessa card suddenly. Uh, oh, nope, never mind. Dude, they're doing a great job playing around Vanessa, honestly. They are doing a stellar A-plus job playing around Vanessa. Always dumping a bad card after a good card. A-plus effort, I think. For real, really, really good. I actually don't really have an answer to that Denathrius right now, but it's also not really a problem just yet. Maybe we just wait still. We're going to see what's in their hand, potentially, unless they play everything else out first. Okay, that's not bad. Start. What's the worst case for me? Like the Shaman Wind Fury Lady? 
Oh. Maybe that. <laughs> ah, that is actually pretty annoying. Freezing trap. Okay. They gave me a tower sergeant. Once again, doing a great job playing around Vanessa every single time. <sighs> All right, I need to find something here. I'm just gonna cycle some spells, I think. I definitely wanna go to 10, because there's a lot of damage on board. Freezing trap, I mean, I don't know. I could maybe take one more psychic turn. That's gonna be another freezing trap, unless they play it, and then we may get nothing. Uh, Okay, I don't know, man. I need to, I actually still need to go below seven. Freezing trap hitting a one three, that's fine. Same as hitting Denathrius, really, I mean. Ray Bow, of course, would be the dream, but that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> That's good, actually, extra resources for them, I guess. That's a good, kind of a good target to bounce, honestly. Get another free beast. You just gave them Amalgam? Yeah, but I don't care, right? I'm trying to preserve a little bit of life total over time so that I have more time to find my win conditions and uh, get to my psychic screams and end game states. Resources are less important to me than time. I need time. Honestly, a gastropod's not terrible. Uh, Lyra here makes a little more sense now, too. I value cards more than a body, right? Yeah, for sure. Raised dead's kind of nice. What do we have in it? I don't even know. But it's just another cycle. Oh, holy fire. That's big heals. Okay. Oh, psychic again. Yeah, all right, all right. Fireward Feast. Eh, I don't love that so much. Kind of need to dump some cards, and I think playing a taunt's totally fine. Just really stalling here. Just going to four matter. No, not really. Let's just buff the Lyra so it's more of a priority. Ooh, that's not... Eh, not bad. So, I mean, theoretically here they have six damage, which is getting into scary territory, but not that scary yet, because we're still, uh, you know, we still have plenty of healing in hand. Oh, the immune's nice. That's sneaky. Yeah, we like that. That's, that's good for them. I just need to find that psychic scream. Uh, horror's killing two things right now, which isn't bad. Uh, one and two. Holy fire could kill another, I guess. Three, five. Oh, yeah, we have apathy horror. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that. That's beautiful. Okay, well, that's the play then, isn't it? Let's freaking go. That deals with the gray bow problem, too. This is amazing. Actually, beautiful. All right. Uh, no need to play a card here in case it's rat stuff. Let's just wait. Oh, we're right back. Okay. Accuser. Whoa, we don't see that guy every day. Awkwardly sized, honestly, for me. A little awkwardly sized. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Oh. This gives them a rat, potentially, but we're fine with it now. It's no big deal. Oh, explosive trap I didn't think about. Oh, okay. Dang, Olgra, stop. No, don't freezing trap either. No, no, Olgra, no! It's the only reason I played Olgra, you idiot. The only reason I played you was to create hand space. You didn't create any hand space, Olgra, you idiot. Stop it. Go back out there. If I could have you not attack, I would. Olgra, please, no. Now I'm going to burn a psychic scream. I know it. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. He's got a bunch of awesome two drops, too. It's annoying. Oh, no psychic scream. Okay. Olgra, you're fine. I take it back. Olgra, you're chill. Don't worry. I still love you, Olgra. Especially this evil just doesn't do anything useful to me. Really, really stranded. Uh, we got like a holy fire. It's fine. Honestly, a little early, though. What I would love to do is double draw off a cleric, but... Uh, currently a little awkward. I have to holy fire something here and then heal it back up. I don't think that's worth it right now. <sighs> okay, here's the play, guys. 
<laughs> Big exciting plays being made. The eight mana man crick. What was seven mana man crick? I love it. Wind Fury would be annoying. That's a lot of extra damage. Oh. Yep, there's there's my heal target if I want now, which is nice. Also a little better for excavated evil here. Uh, evil into holy fire if I could, but that's too much mana. So evil clears two, that leaves five behind. I can uh, just hero power maybe is fine most of the time. Maybe just tempo a body. Wish I could play both, man. Definitely need to start clearing out some stats though. This is five. I guess I'm always doing this, huh? Oh, I wish I could play that. Remember, not an order thing though. I had hand size restrictions here. Um, okay. They'd have to find three damage here to kill me. Am I gonna play into a snake trap though? If I buff, there's no need to buff. Oh no, we're not playing into snake ever. No, no, we've tested a rat already. We're fine. We'll buff this. It's a little more awkward to deal with. We tested rat. So next turn could be a great Zyrella clear and reset if we're not dead somehow. We're hitting face very confidently. That makes me a little nervous. They have a way to deal three? No, that's not dealing three. Two charge minions or something? Uh, okay. That's a little nerve wracking, isn't it? We think that's an ice trap? Like, are they trying to stop some healing? If I go healing potion and it gets ice trapped. Oh, maybe that was still the freezing. No, we, we, already, we already ate one freezing. I can still hero power. It's not the end of the world if this gets ice trapped. Oh, and it doesn't, okay. Uh, now we should test snakes actually, right? Or we, we think this might be freezing though. Either way, we should test. Oh, do they still have another freezing in hand drill saying, okay, that's Venom Strike, that's totally fine. And it looks like we can replay that. So freezing indeed and Zyrella will uh, Clear this board and reset. They do a couple two drops here, but that's not a big risk. Being able to reset on the secrets is really valuable. And then ooze to finish. Oh, we got the snakes too. Nice, perfect, perfect turn. Really perfect turn. Delete the big weapon that we buff. Wipe the board. This is just dreamy. Totally negate every secret. Take your two drops, we don't care. Actually perfect, yeah. I actually thought they would concede, to be honest. I'm surprised they're still in it, but respect. Always respect. No shade. It's a good two drop to get, man. Was that off this or was that something we gave them again? I don't remember. All right. Um, this game just keeps going, dude. Okay, that's a lot of minions again, dude. I'll give you credit. That's a lot of minions again, man. You keep playing minions. I see it. There's a lot of minions there. Once more. Good on ya. I see them. I need to draw cards. I need resources. We're gonna draw here. We're at 10 health, perfect timing. Sunwell's cool, okay. That's resources for sure. Time to play it now? It's not bad, three. Nah, I think I'd rather spend mana later though. We uh... We're fine here anyway. Ever try to protect my uh... My Northshire to draw more? I mean, now I do have some resource generation, so I think, I think getting a minion down is fine. Theoretically, hero power is still long-term draws, especially if I can hit their face once, maybe draw off that once. <clears throat> Poisonous spells, okay. Poisonous minion, okay. Royal gift, that's big, dang. I do have a poisonous minion out though, thankfully, so playing that seems like it's gonna pay off nicely. Uh, all right. Seems fine. Five spells here. Sunwell's gonna save the day again, I think, as always. Inner fire, dude. Kind of fun. We don't really need it here, but Vaporize is fun. Ancient Mysteries is dead. And Cheat Death. Um, yeah, these aren't really my favorite Cheat Death minions, I guess, but maybe not too bad. Let's save that Inner Fire. I don't think we really need it right now, do we? gets eaten, but I just want one more card off of it. Mm, cheat death actually causes me some problems with hand size. Can I do better on other minions? I don't know, I could just rip the inner fire though and just throw that away and cheat death then. 
But no, I don't really want that. It's fine. Okay. Again, no need to hurry. We are going to have to Benedictus soon. We're actually getting close to fatigue, which is probably how the opponent thinks they're going to win, but... As we all know, because we've played this 37 times, the, uh... The fatigue plan's not going to work out for them. I don't know what plan is going to work out for them, honestly, but... Huh, they decided not to eat this, huh? Maybe they're trying to advance my fatigue? It's still just one fatigue, so... It works out okay. Mm, I think they're like kind of baiting me here a little bit, man. I'm like a tad nervous to leave. Like if I hit and it's snakes or something, that becomes a bit of an issue. Snakes are honestly really intimidating. Um, right? Snakes are a problem. I'm gonna dump this in case it's a freezing trap. I, I guess. I don't even know if that's good. But just in case. Okay, not snakes. That makes me. Oh, I forgot that's getting bigger. Oh crap. Yeah, that's getting. I guess that's getting holy fired, huh? Mm, does feel like a waste of healing a little bit, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. It's going to get too big to eat my board, though, so let's just eat it. It's fine. Oh, cat trick. Okay, that's not so bad. Cat trick we can definitely live with. I think we'll hit here. Maybe this eats here. I think we're still totally fine, right? We're just still at 10, man. Just can't they can't get over the hump and deal enough damage here my minions are like just annoying enough that uh it's hard for them to work through all this they're leaving the poisonous out again i wonder what their plan is there they have something cooking up for this poisonous guy i don't know what it is this guy's scary that's a lot of damage okay well this is empty on hand but we're gonna get something from deck which are you kidding me that's amazing Maybe not actually the card to play right now, though. It kind of leaves out more minions than it kills right now. We could do, like, theft accusation, and then that clears a little more. Leaves out three, which three we know is a magic number for us. Three is fine. Could maybe just do it and vaporize, too. Like, vaporize on a 1-1 one one's fine. Uh, this could even be a Benedictus turn, honestly. Yeah, maybe this is the Benedictus turn, because we're not under that much pressure we can excavate it evil later after some trades and stuff. Yeah, I think I like that more. Let's just Benedictus here. We're getting down to six cards in deck, so... Only thing I'd really love to see is a Psychic Scream, I guess. Surely this 3-3 eats the Benedictus, right? Oh, they're, they're, what? What is their plan for this 3-3? I don't know what they're doing with it! What is their goal? I have no idea. Sure, mad scientist. Go get him, buddy. He might actually summon something. We just got all their cards, so who knows? I don't know what their plan is with this 3-3. Oh, yeah, what do we get? Sick. Wandering monster is awesome. I love it, dude. Oh, Bola shot? Eh, not as good, actually. Kind of not that exciting. Um, I'll rip an evil here. I think it's fine. Wandering monster value trades nicely into that guy, so... Should be okay. All right. Um. Yeah, we'll chill. Don't worry, guys. I'm about to pee my pants again, dude. These games take so long. I have to pee. We're on turn 31. <laughs> dude, we are four hours and 15 minutes. Oh, that doesn't trade nicely, unfortunately. That's a little sad. Bola shot cleans these up, though. I guess that's cool. Explosive? Oh, wondering, of course. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. Great. Really, really good. Easy clear. All right. I mean, I don't know what their plan is. I don't know what their win condition is supposed to be here. Like, everybody just keeps playing it out. But I don't know what they're trying to achieve. I'm not going to say they don't have a chance to win, because obviously they might have a chance to win. I don't know what their deck is. I just don't know, like... And again, no, they're allowed to, of course, play it out. Oh, wow, good vaporize timing, cool. That's, that's great. That would tilt me if I was the opponent. The turn I finally play vaporize, their 4-8 just gets eaten. That's awesome. I'm just curious, like, what they think they're going to win via, because we never lose in fatigue, ever. Never, ever, ever, ever. Like, impossible for us to lose in fatigue, I think. Because we're already four cards ahead and we don't take fatigue damage, so... Maybe turn limit? They might be playing for turn limit. That's not unreasonable. They still have seven cards left. 
puts us at turn 40 41 turn limit's not impossible honestly maybe that is the line i don't even think that's a bad line it's kind of a cool thought i dig it maybe it's a turn limit line i think turn limit counts as a tie in duels from what i can recall i don't know that 100 percent, but i think that's right Oh, quick shot helps me actually. That's really good news. Guess we're never playing this psychic scream, eh? Okay, so now we're ahead seven cards thanks to that excavated evil. It's a really big advantage. Oh, that's what they're playing for! Oh, sick! Oh, that's actually so cool. Oh, this got real all of a sudden, dude. I am pumped. We might lose, dude. That's so sick. Oh, they got so unlucky to get it this late. They got so unlucky. I feel like that's so unfortunate for them. Wow. That's so unlucky, I feel like. I need to start thinking about face damage now, honestly. This is getting a little harrowing. I could have healed and, and interfired, but I don't know. Not yet. Not yet. Oh yeah, I have one in my deck, don't I? Oh my god, I don't know if that's good. I don't think I want one. I think I like my heal too much, but still kind of cool to see. That is big and it got them extra value, jeez. Um, do I need the Anduin? Anduin helps me start ending the game, but I lose my healing. I have a little bit of healing in hand. Oh, dang, that doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right though. Everybody says, no, don't do it. <laughs> One person says, go for it. I can't ever play Psychic Stream, so that's not really removal. I think I just have to play for fatigue guys to win. Quick shot face is actually really cool. Really nice. I'm hoping they think about trading a little, although not really, I guess face attacks are always kind of the best bet for me. Oh, that is rush. That's good for them. All right. Two more of these dudes. Scorpids are value generation. That's scary. Can clean off these, I guess, but I give them a card. I don't know if it's worth it or not. Oh, Shadow Madness is insane on the Scorpid. Wow. Oh, Mage Armor. That's not usually super relevant, but not bad here. Not bad. Probably better using this on a turn when... The one ones are gone. Or no, no, this is actually a pretty good turn for it because those one ones deal three full damage. This might be fine. Does he not? Somebody in chat says he doesn't take enough fatigue damage before the turn limit. Okay, that's actually good to know if that's true. He takes one, two, three, and four maybe? Yeah, I think you're right. We're gonna get to 45 before he takes, uh, before he dies. I need a way to win then. Anduin damage could maybe be enough to win. Like start chipping in with two over time. I do have healing in in uh, in hand. I have quick shot and Anduin damage, but I might lose if I'm not careful. Is the problem? I might alternatively lose if I lose my hero power and stuff. You know, so it's not as simple as as that. I don't think. Because, like, playing for the tie might end up being better than playing for the for the win. I mean, this is a lot of healing, though, guys. <sighs> if I'm going to Anduin, though, I'd, I'd really rather do it on a board when they're, uh, where it's going to clear some minions. You know? How much damage do I really do, though? Like, eight or something? It's just not enough, I don't think. I don't think it's enough. Uh, let's rip this just so that it's a trade on that 4-4. I guess it could die to rush minions pretty easily, though. Nah, let's wait. We can spend spin mana here, but I don't want to hit yet, do I? I don't think I hit. I think I gotta play for turn limit, maybe. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> like, I, th this, this Rexar completely changed the scope of the game. So crazy. It's so crazy. I don't know, man. 
Oh, that is life steal too. Yeah, so the good thing we didn't go for the Anduin, right? Because they're already back to 40. Like, there's no way the Anduin gets there in time on this particular uh, shape of stuff. Um, my own Rexar. I don't think it's right though. Sadly, I don't think it's right. Unfortunately, this gives them one card, but we don't really care, do we? Guys, I'm literally gonna pee my pants. I just want you to know this. Like, I'm actually legitimately gonna pee my pants. I want you to know this. It's important to me that you understand this. <laughs> I'm going to pee my pants. <laughs> Dude, we played. Dude, dude, this tur this game is 45 turns long, and we're not even gonna get a win out of it, dude. Like, like this is. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh my god. That is very large. Uh, me drawing two cards is also a little scary. <sighs> I mean, there's just no way Anduin wins, right? There's just no way. But at the same time, I'm also just like ready to go. <sighs> Draw two? There's no way Anduin does enough damage, guys. I gotta play. I think I gotta play for the tie. I just like even with the, like, like you know it's two mana per per ping. I need twenty pings to win. I don't even have twenty cards left. I mean yes, fatigue accelerates that a little bit, but not enough. I mean this might be a turn I could go for Anduin again, especially with more healing. Okay, I'm gonna turn the corner. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I, I mean we just don't have a choice, do we? I can maybe wait one more turn. But it's for, we're at 41. We're going to tie. <laughs> we're just going to die. <sighs> I have a psychic scream if I need to play for the tie. But I'm taking fatigue, guys. Oh, there's no way, dude. There's no way. I can't, guys, I can't. Uh, because I draw two. I'll be in fatigue soon. I'm going to take the tie. I'm so sorry, guys. I should have actually not buffed that and then killed it with this. But now it's too late. <laughs> I was gonna play the Anduin and then I pivoted. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess it's fine. We'll just take the tie. I think, I think there's a risk I lose if I, uh, if I Anduin. I really think there's a risk. I might still have to play Anduin as a like stabilizer turn because I may need to clear like a big wide board, but um, in the meantime, we play for the tie. Mad respect to the opponent, by the way. Mad respect to the opponent for playing this out because I thought they were doomed 800 years ago. The Rexar and the turn limit are actually going to pull them into the game. Um, pretty insane. So we're on 44 right now. It should actually be safe here to play the Anduin to clear. I don't think they can ever do enough damage through a healing potion and a desperate prayer and the natural armor gain. They're at 43, 44, and then as we swip over to 45, right? I think is when it when it flips. I think this is fine. The light has betrayed me. Should be fine here. I'm out of cards. We're okay. Don't play this ever. I think they're just out of turns for the tie. I mean, yeah, it's turn 44. I think the game ends either. I don't know how it works. Like this turn or the turn after. I don't know. Whatever. Hounds, I guess, could actually give me like a lethal push, maybe. But I think the game's about to end. I think the game's about to end. Isn't it turn 45? Whatever. I don't know. It's So it's going to end. I think as soon as he hits end turn, I think the game is over. I think he hits end turn, we both get destroyed. We're not okay it's on my for uh, are we not on my 45 i mean none of this matters i thought the game was already over it's after my turn oh okay pressure blade's funny shadows consume you oh i missed the damage screw me 
it's after my turn there it is okay dude I, <laughs> dude I, i'm gonna be i gotta go i'm gonna pee my pants i don't a tie a freaking dude i don't have time for this i'll be right back i'll be right back guys i cannot upload a four hour duels run to youtube five hours actually 46 minute draw <sighs> i can't do it it's, I, I need to lose please god just let me die <laughs> like please play in my tether breeze 46 minutes I, looking back i'm thinking is there like a way we could have won that game like could i have uh you know I, I don't know it doesn't feel like it it was always so risky to anduin it sort of to me feels like playing for the tie was actually correct oh my god <laughs> dude, dude please no <laughs> Bomb warrior takes forever. Oh God! Just get all the bombs right away, please, please. Oh, that's a good card, I guess. Theotar is a good card. <clears throat> this is the run that never ends. At least we got Sunwell. <sighs> I told my wife I was gonna stream late tonight. I had a lot of videos to get, and now I have one video. Just one. That's all. <laughs> one five hour video. <laughs> I'm not, I, I needed this to be something I posted tomorrow. I'm not even going to be able to. I'm going to have to wait to post this till Thursday. So I don't have time to edit it. It's going to take too long to edit. Oh my God, dude. I hate splitting duels runs in half though. So I don't think I'll split it. Honestly, I hate, I hate splitting them in half. So double time's pretty crazy. A lot of armor gain, which really isn't a big, big concern for us. As long as they don't have too many onboard threats, we usually aren't at, at too much risk of bombs beating us. Thankfully, this might be one of the better times to use this. I guess I do kind of burn a card, though. Could be a bomb, but unlikely. Oh, Ranker's cool. I like Ranker. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to wait to play this henchman until turn 30, guys, okay? I want, I want, I know we're going to go to turn 30. That's a given because every game has gone to turn 30, right? Sunwell's not good enough to get us, get us ad before turn 30. So I'm going to wait till this gets to 30, 30, then I'm going to play it. Okay. This day has been so, this is the day that never ends, dude. I, I had so many, like, so stressful covering all the different videos and, and now here we are five hours deep into a duels run. Yeah, that weapon's whatever. Hopefully I'll top deck my ooze. Ooze me. Ooze me. Ooze me. Um, all right. I mean, this may get better later, but sometimes they keep cards they like in the mulligan. Maybe they're bomb guy, for instance. Um, I don't have a lot of good things to give away for the record, but it'll be okay. Uh, Brawl's certainly our best bet there, and I guess we give them the Ranker back? I don't really care about it too much. Armor's not that good for me. Psychic Stream's probably more valuable overall as a desperation removal. Uh, I will say it's a fatigue problem, but... Now, like we talked about last time for the Bomb Warrior, I mean, I do think, you know, if, if it came down to bombs, I think we would have some inevitability here because... You know, essentially, once they run out of minions and stuff, if I have enough survivability and enough removal, clearly, let's let's just say that's going to happen, which it doesn't necessarily, but it could. Then eventually, like, I'm unlikely to draw enough bombs sequentially to ever kill me. So as long as I can heal enough, um, each bomb hitting for one, you know, take three. It's like, okay, I healed off. Next turn, I take four. Okay, I healed it off, you know. Uh, and then once you get into the very, very end game state where we're all out of cards, I only take two damage per turn or three, I guess, a, a hero power. Sometimes I draw and take three, sometimes I don't. But uh, essentially we, we reach a, a state where I'm taking two or three damage per turn and always healing two or three damage per turn. And as long as there's not enough bombs in order on an empty deck, I would win. But uh, we'll see if we get there. The, the hard part's getting there because they may just get a good enough board. That said, Bomb Warrior thing is certainly less likely than some of those like Death Rattle decks we're playing against to get the good boards, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> just, just pass. This deck is just called Just Pass. 
Guys, what do I do if I keep winning? I I'm, I'm, I'm literally gonna pass out. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I can't keep going. All right, that's actually pretty good. They're hitting my face with the hyper blaster, huh? That's cool. I didn't notice that. I dig it though. Playing for some bomb outs already. Oh wow. Actually, kind of spooky there. Yeah, a little bit scary, honestly. Um, hopefully we don't hit like too many bombs here somehow. That would be really, really sad and frustrating. <clears throat> nice. Back to 10. Okay. They just did a lot of work, but we're right back. That's good. Uh, <laughs> Hit and face again. They know where the bread's buttered here. They might be realizing the sort of inevitability problem as well and thinking like, oh, I need to find a crazy bomb out sooner rather than later. So I'm just gonna hit them a lot. Oh, we gave them that ranker. Yeah, that's fine. We had to clear the 9-9. Can't really avoid that too much. Necrotic poison. I mean, I don't really need to excavate it evil yet. We're kind of chill. Ash is fine, yeah. Okay. I am getting a little more autopiloty with our deck, by the way. Just realizing, like, hey, you really don't need to make decisions 90% of the turns. If there's less than three minions out, basically you're <laughs> you're fine. Uh, you know. As long as there's only as long as there's only three minions, so you're kind of unkillable. Could you start editing this video while doing this run? Man, I can barely play with a hundred percent focus. <laughs> no. Of course not. Pure cold hits for one. Three armor, of course. Not bad. I can see why they were pushing, like, actually had some damage there. That's nice. Making me draw cards does, honestly, uh... Oh, see, they're going for bombs again. They gotta hit, like, five, six straight. It's not likely, unfortunately, for them. Yeah, let's just wait, right? No rush. Um, I do kind of need to tempo a card though. It's fine. I love this sun will just chilling here. We don't even need it, man, but it's so good. Just waiting. Is this the latest you've streamed? Uh, we've honestly been streaming pretty late all, all this last month or so, but we're getting there. We're getting trending towards the end. I think maybe Elden Ring, I stayed up late some nights playing Elden Ring for a while, but for Hearthstone, we're getting there. My wife is going to be getting impatient. I told her we'd eat snacks after my stream, and then this is the stream that never ends. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll see. She's probably going to come in here and bug us in about three minutes. Somebody start a timer. Oh, man, I haven't played God of War. I was planning to do it this week in, in preparation for Ragnarok, and I am not going to have time. There's so much Hearthstone stuff hitting. It's, uh... I don't know what to do. I may have to just catch up and play both of them in December. My wife's going out of town for a couple of weeks, so I may be able to catch up a little more than I'm honestly a little sad about it. I really wanted to get it, get it going, but I don't see how I, I need, like, I think I looked up the game's like 20 hours long. I need 20 hours of time to play and beat it. And I have seven days before Ragnarok comes out. So I have to average three hours a day, which May not sound like a lot, but that's a lot of time committed when I need to also be streaming Hearthstone, editing a billion videos, playing Marvel Snap as well now. So I just don't have time. So I think I'll probably try to catch up in December, which is not going to be as compelling for content for people, but I just really want to play it. So sacrifice the content side of it for the fun of it. That's certainly fine. Early Ultimore here. Nothing too scary there. Irella would normally handle this problem, but no damage currently taken on face. Opponent's at 100 life, but it just it just doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just irrelevant. Isn't that fun? That it's just completely irrelevant. Um, kind of don't hate this excavated evil. I mean, kind of lacking good plays here. Maybe we just Psychic and chill. I do need to dump a card if we Psychic though, so let's get rid of the, the Shaw. He seems annoying. We can go ahead and hit this guy too, that's fine.
All right, so six bombs in deck. I actually want to draw bombs. I don't ever want to get in a scenario where I have like seven bombs at the bottom of my deck. So it's actually important that I draw bombs. Oh, dang, dude, I wanted to play him as a 30-30. I'm really annoyed. Shame on you. Ripping my Zyrella too, man. That's no fun. Double time. Do you find that you edit so much that you never sleep? No, I'm pretty good about keeping my sleep. <laughs> I don't give up sleep too much. Nah, honestly. But uh, I do give up a lot of other things like social time and like personal gaming time. I don't play games ever for myself anymore. Especially lately with Marvel Snap. I'm basically putting out two times as many videos right now. Just a lot of little busy work and thumbnail editing and all that stuff. But worth it. I'm getting a lot of new subscribers right now off Marvel Snap, which has not really... It takes forever to gain subs at my rate in, in Hearthstone right now. It just creeps along for me, but Marvel Snap got me a quick like extra thousand subs, which I wouldn't otherwise have, so that's fun. Slowly march on our way towards 200,000 subs. Yeah, bombs. Yes, draw two or three even. I don't care. Oh. I don't think we Benedictus yet. And uh, the only reason I would Benedictus now is if it made them concede. <laughs> like, that would be a reason to do it, but otherwise it's not time. Somebody said I'm playing their friend. Ask your friend if, if I played Archbishop Benedictus... Would that be enough to, that they would concede the game organically? Not like, oh, as a meme, but like, would they feel like they give up if I play Benedictus? Because if so, I will rip this so fast. Yeah, they could play for the tie too, maybe, honestly. Uh, 22 cards though right now at turn 13. We're looking at turn 35 for uh, them hitting fatigue. And that's if they don't draw anything else. I think we would still have a pretty good chance. They'd be taking like uh 10 damage at the end of that so like 10 9 8 yeah honestly at 100 life i don't know maybe but also i think at some point i would probably stabilize a board a little bit and start hitting them as well so maybe be close if i get two straight ties guys like forget it i i'm done dude <laughs> i'm straight up done probably need to hit face every chance i get in that case oh that's gonna burn a card might be able to bomb though burn a bomb Burn a bomb. Burn a bomb. Burn a bomb. Hey, man, that's nice. Aw. Could have used that. Okay, dude. Alright. They did draw even more cards again now, right? Like, th now we're looking at, you know, 13 damage at the end of the chain of fatigue, maybe. They draw a few more. We're going to be a really well positioned in fatigue, I think. So I have 23 actual cards. They're 19. Oh, yeah, dude. Invitation's cool. I mean, the second one's pretty likely to be bad because you don't get to weed out the garbage and it randomly picks a garbage one for you. But still, uh, free, free legendary is never too bad, I bet. He's at least halfway decent, I suspect. <laughs> oh, that's a good roll. Wow, that's big. Kind of need to use this Reckless Flurry at some point because I'm not often going to have armor. Doesn't deal with this guy just yet, though, so maybe maybe post-Benedictus it will. Oh, dude, it's good against literally everything else, though. Oh, they hit, they hit though, so maybe... Maybe not as good. Dang, man, they read my armor plays. Dang, dude. Bombs eating my armor too! Probably a fine brawl. Plague of Death. Uh, I feel like that's better for like Rattle Gore type emergencies, right? Let's just brawl. It's fine. Any one minion's not ever a threat to me, so it's a pretty good brawl board. <laughs> Cool. It's just as scary as the big guy. <laughs> they, they are the same. Uh, dude is asking me to play pure paladin. I already have, man. We, we played pure jailer paladin already. Here, check it out. I'll find you the video. Just a few weeks ago. This jailer oh, paladin was played to number one legend. This is a pure jailer paladin. Even the Okani. 
here's here's what the thumbnail looks like right there number one deck it says jailer paladin was played number one legend i liked it it was really fun it's a good deck it got fifty-nine thousand views that's a success in my book i had fun the viewers liked it that's a home run all right that was a big chain of bombs but exactly the amount that's good for us so that's fine um well i kind of want to dump a card here so <laughs> natalie you're so good go get him natalie Esern ephemeral man thanks for the four months you haven't watched over a year welcome back i love it With Uther DK card for four horsemen. Oh, I see. You want a new version? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, so that your your dudes don't die. Does seem a, a hair redundant to me. Like if you're let's throw this out. If you're uh, living for four turns post jailer, isn't your jailer often just winning in the game? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. It does sound like a fun meme though. I like it. That would be a good video. I think. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, where is Mrs. Kilbin in the snacks? I know, right? I'm surprised. Oh, this is so god awful boring. It's just so boring. <laughs> like we do this guy has <laughs> so much life, dude. Oh. I don't know when to Benedictus, guys. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. Maybe I find uh, damage cards. Maybe I find more cold light oracles. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I just uh, want to clear some hand space, honestly. All right. I do technically have nine bombs. If they hit me and I drew nine straight bombs, this suffering could all end. I could finally die. You know, I've always heard like you don't want to be immortal. Like nobody really wants to be immortal because you know, like, like you just live forever. Like all of your loved ones pass away before you. You get bored. Your mind just you know, it, it melts from the just repetitiveness of, of immortality. In, in theory, of course, we don't know this. I feel, I understand. <laughs> If immortality is a curse, it's not a blessing. We can't die, <laughs> please. <laughs> I just want to, <laughs> please. Uh, I want to be immortal. That way I can watch the end of this duels run. Yes, exactly. You get it. You understand. You get it. Oh, please, anything, really. Yeah, imagine if we tied, like, two times and then we still went to 12 wins. We would have the world first 16-game duels run. Uh, I hope I hope I lose any, any future game so fast. I hope I just lose it so fast. Okay, uh, whatever. I mean, we're, I mean, guys, I don't know, man. I think we were, we're in a decent spot, honestly. It's turn 21. They've only got 11 cards remaining, right? So that gets them to turn 32. That means they're taking 13 turns of fatigue. And if we get to that point, they're going to have run out of cards, which means I'm going to be playing a minion or two that sticks. And if I play a minion or two that sticks, I'm going to be chipping them down, right? And hit this. Oh, that's good, too. Well... I mean, still a net gain, I guess, but still a little, a little silly. I, I think we'll win in that scenario. I think it'll be okay. Uh, okay. Still makes my brain melt a little bit, like seeing the 9-9. I'm always like, oh God, that's scary, but it's not, it's not scary. <sighs> if I gained enough armor for a Galvangar, like I, I might have one in my deck. That's a nice little damage push too, honestly. Yeah, they could have a Kazakus on. Sure, I haven't seen a single dragon, have we? But I would give them a Wink Edition, maybe. 
extra depth. Uh, honestly, though, I, I feel like I can live through most treasures. Uh, it, doesn't have, it doesn't have locusts anymore, right? So I don't know what treasures would beat me. Like, two wax ragers doesn't beat me. Is there anything that does enough, like, straight-up damage? Oh, okay, so they're out of bombs. But the Rokara ping damage does add a little bit of consistency to their damage output, so... That does help them some, I think. Bash. I mean, I want to kill this thing, but it's just not urgent at all. Uh, everything for three? I mean, is there any surprise damage they do? If so, please do it. If you're running like, a, a, I don't know, somehow you generate a Mask of Cthulhu or something, please, God. <laughs> please play it. That's all I ask. I mean, there's definitely enough bombs to kill me. Again, I kind of need to draw a couple every turn. I don't want to wait too long because if we wait too long, we're going to be in trouble, right? There might be a weird breakpoint where like five bombs in a row does just enough. I don't know how many are in there. It just says nine plus. I'm, I'm going to guess like 15 maybe that just shuffled in how many? Five, maybe we're like 16, 17 bombs. I'd like to draw a few, man. But somebody says 18. I would love to draw a few bombs, man, please. Oh, you can see on Twitch. Oh, 18 bombs. Okay, that's scary. Hitting six in a row here wouldn't be that absurd. I mean, it's pretty absurd, but not impossible by any means. I mean, I have a lot of healing, so it wouldn't be a problem yet, but every time I draw a non-bomb, it's getting a little bit more concerning, you know? <sighs> I mean, I don't know what to do. Is it time for the Sunwell, man? <laughs> All this for a primordial study is great. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. I just wanted to create more hand space again, and I didn't have a great way to... Because I'm if I'm playing this right, it's adding a card to hand, so... I, I didn't even really solve the problem, because the Primordial Studies uh, replaced itself. I, I think I'm going to play the Harvester of Envy. I just don't... I mean, do they even kill this, though? No, I need to heal, actually, for bombs. It's fine. Maybe I'll just burn a bomb off the top. Uh, I'd actually rather... R rather than burn a bomb, I would honestly rather draw, like, four and be alive, I think that would be better than burning one because I just want to prevent any streaks of bombs. I need to I need to work through those streaks. Uh, do I know how the runes will work in Arena? I do, actually, yeah. Um, they said, Blizzard said that uh, once you, like, so if you draft, like if your first card is a triple blood rune, then the draft is smart and will stop offering you cards from the other runes. So if you draft like one frost rune, it will still offer you like double unholy, double blood. But as soon as you take a, like a single unholy, then it would only offer you one ofs. So basically it, it's updating in real time with the draft. So it, it always makes sure you have a rule following build at the end of the draft. I mean, honestly, here, I'll just stay at 10 now. There's no pressure on board. I'll just burn the bombs. I have no incentive to play things until they do. There's no, no, no reason to get in a hurry here. I can just hit any minions with my face for a while, too. <clears throat> Still no bombs. That's really making me nervous, man. Why aren't there more bombs, man? I haven't drawn a bomb in forever. I'm getting to the point where it's almost 50-50 bombs. Which still, to get a streak of like five or six would be insane, but I'm worried, you know, they take a turn, they bash me a couple times, they hit me for four or five, and then I take five straight bombs all at once. You know, it has to kind of be a stars align situation, but you could definitely see it happening. So here, like, see, they're pushing in a lot of damage right now. If I draw, well, I guess I'm at 10 right now, but, uh, you know, theoretically, if this was a bomb sort of turn, Dude, I can't draw a bomb. God dang. I'm like 50-50 bombs. Come on. Do they have any threats left is the real question, though. If they don't have any threats left, we just pass till the end of our days. Um, and hope fatigue is enough, although I don't know if it's going to be. We're still ending up on turn 31 for fatigue. Puts us at like 14 fatigue damage later. I would probably still have to commit to something. Uh... To kill them. God, if I tie again, I'm going to die. I'm just going to lose my mind. <laughs> dude, pl dude, please. 
<laughs> please find some way to kill me and then as like pull some cards out of my hand or something and like hit a bunch of bombs in a row man i don't know draw more cards so i think i can win in fatigue at least oh that denies me the weapon but this does give me more armor which is kind of nice i mean it's only two bombs but that's that's still relevant two bombs is not nothing Do they have a single threat left in their deck is the question. <clears throat> 15 fatigue is 120. That's not enough. <laughs> Needless to say. Uh, so we'll have to find some damage somehow. Do try to keep yourself alive. Okay. Can I burn a bomb, man? I've only burned real cards. <sighs> it's really frustrating. <laughs> Phantom, I'm so sorry, man. I get it. We're literally five hours into this run, dude. I've never had a duels run like this in my life. It's, I mean, honestly, three hours is an incredibly long duels run. It's incredibly long. Oh, does that do anything? Okay, so they're going for a little board here. This might be a turn I actually want to play some removal, I suppose. Um, I, I'm sure I will, and then I'll draw seven bombs in a row. Hey, we finally burned a bomb. Nice. Uh, I guess Reckless is fine. I mean, don't love Psychic Stream. Plague of Death honestly might be fine, but I like having the emergency out for like a Rattle Gore or something. I don't even know if Rattle Gore matters, honestly, but just in case. This is worth one bomb. Is the one bomb difference? I mean, there's no way I'm drawing eight bombs, which is their damage output right now. I'm going to get any use case out of this. I better do it now. I think it's fine. Watch me draw eight straight bombs, by the way, guys. Uh, honestly, I'll just be glad that my mercy has ended. Uh, my, my suffering has ended. The, the game has given me mercy. <laughs> the worst RNG in history. And it's actually welcome. I welcome my demise. 42% bombs right now? Okay. I mean, drawing like five or six would be great. Just not eight. And we drew zero. Okay, of course. See, this gives them three damage, but I'm at 10 cards, so I can't add a bombs here. So that's fine. All right, so the fatigue clock starts now. I need to... Okay, they're going in, but this is not the turn to go in because I can't take any bomb damage, right? This is actually kind of a bad turn to go in. Hit that 3-3. Three, three. Nice, I don't even have to kill that now. Beautiful. <sighs> Do they try to play it out? Do I have to play stuff? Like, there's a few questions to answer here. I... I think I'm fine to go for Envy now. They're only hitting me for one damage, so nine straight bombs is incredibly unlikely. I need to start sort of sussing out whatever's in their hand, because I, I think I have to stick some minions and do some damage. I do not think... I ever win on fatigue as we've calculated or chat has calculated i certainly can't take credit there <laughs> so i need to start like getting through some bombs i need to because i don't want any bomb streaks to kill me right that would be very bad and very unlucky because i'm gonna need to be playing cards which means i'm gonna need an emptier hand okay good i want bombs give me two or three that's only one I can throw this right because it just doesn't. We're never going to use it because we don't want to give them cards. So maybe I should be attacking in case they have another weapon generator thing. I doubt it. They've played so many, but you never know. Um, I need to find minions, though, man. I need to find minions. Really don't have that many. I'm afraid they're going to have plenty of removal. And then I'm going to be stuck. Uh, this has nothing in deck ever, so let's just grab a card from hand. Of course, it's just a bunch of garbage, yeah. It's a bunch of good removals, the frustrating part. I actually need to draw real cards here, so I'm emptying hand space every turn. I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna stick a threat, because it's just like all removal. The brawl, I mean, one card at a time denies the brawl, but the shield shatter is still good. Uh. Drew quite a few bombs here, it looks like. Did I draw nine straight? There's no way, right? Oh, no, okay. Ooh, Lyra's pretty fun. 
really don't have that many Lyra plays, though. If I get to the point where I'm out of bombs, I can play Anduin, right? But I have to be out of bombs first, I think. I think I have to be out of bombs for that. Need something that's threat generation. This is actually threat generation potentially, right? Do I have any of these? Yeah, nice. Okay, that's a brawl board though. But that's okay. We need we need one brawl board eventually. Okay. Run turn. I mean, God, it sure feels like the damage is stacking up fast. What turn are we on? I don't even know. Oh, that's the shield shatter board. Okay, not the brawl board. That's actually good news because now I can maybe stick one minion. And they may not have an easy hit for it. I guess Reckless Flurry is still good, though. Reckless Flurry is still good. Good. Draw bombs. Draw bombs. Give me a few more. That's not enough. Uh, all right. We're going to rip this because I want to draw minions. I need threats. What's my bomb count at, guys? Does anybody know now? I need to get through every last bomb. Oh, yeah. They can't flurry yet. That's right. Yeah, they die right now if they flurry for sure. Yeah, that's true. I'm at 10. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm at 10. So one, one minion right now might actually stick for a while. Problem is, I don't really have one. <laughs> I have Fortune Teller, I guess. It's pretty good. In the case of Fortune Teller, I'm actually better off not booning it so they can't brawl it probably, right? Yeah, draw me some bombs. That's good. This is fine. Give me a threat development. Uh, have we had any death rattles die? Oh, we've had some psychics, right? Those are good. Those are good. Yeah, uh, since these are replenishing cards, maybe we go ahead and boon here. That should be fine, I think. This is a brawl, probably. If the living minion survives, we can apotheosis it and start scaling off that, maybe? Oh, they have a ranker still. Wow. Of course, I'm just getting garbage. Oh, my God. I actually gave them more life, and I just got two pieces of utter garbage. Don't burn a minion, please. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. <sighs> of course i'm just getting recklesses i didn't really care about the cards so much as the bodies right but um pretty funny okay oh they're conceding oh thank god dude oh oh that was very useful thank you oh oh god uh i guess maybe they were counting the bombs and knew I, some of you were saying i couldn't die in one turn anymore to bombs so they might have been counting and figured it out but i don't know if they were dead to the tie it was probably close but i just needed to stick one more minion no 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 i can't do it again no i can't do it i can't do it again i'm gonna die oh i can't do it it's 12 30 in the morning god please Oh, guys, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm just going to mess up my hair and we're going to. Oh, this better. This YouTube video, honestly, guys, I'm going to. This needs to get a million views or it's not going to be worth it. Like, it's got to get 100,000 or it ain't going to be worth it. I promise you that. <laughs> the return on investment here is zero. It's zero. I just cannot, I can't. I, I hope they somehow have some insane car. Endurance training and backpacks. How did they get this far? Man, they must have some great taunts. Maybe they'll just build a wall of taunts I can't answer, right? That would be so great. I kinda wanna use this to see what's up there, man. I'm like feeling scared a little bit. Um, okay. I mean, I can use this to draw a card later, maybe. That's fine, let's save that actually. That's pretty good. <sighs> I'm going to bed. I'll start again in the morning. Yeah, we'll be on game nine by then, so you won't miss much. <laughs> You're going to miss one game? Oh, today has been the longest day of my life. It's been fun, though, ultimately. I'm, I'm memeing a lot. I'm playing it up, but it's actually been fun. Both this run and uh, making a lot of fun videos, you know? Ultimately been pretty enjoyable. Psychic Stream's bad for us. I think Power Word Shield's better. We just like card draw. We're fine for card draw. Uh, this is the funniest run ever. You're actively cheering on the opponent to win. I, I, 
dude, if they do these long turns every time, I'm gonna lose it. Listen, opponent, I don't care if you cheat. You can you can watch me all day. Please, but just do it quickly. Just do it quickly. Uh, <laughs> Mountain fire. Okay, we could just go ahead and play this already and clear that, I guess. But the uh, only reason I'd really want to do that is to empty a card. So maybe we just play this for now and then get it later. No hurry yet. Uh, all right. I'm just surprised my head's not more oily. If I've been wiping my head a lot, because I feel like you know normally by now I'm like a I look like a greased animal. <sighs> Guys, I'm I need to stream tomorrow all day. I need to do card review videos for Death Knight cards still. I need to, wh what's the Marvel Snap featured location? I'm supposed to make a video for that tonight. What's the featured location in Marvel Snap? I, I was gonna do that after this duels run and it's it's uh, officially 5 a.m. or something. Uh, 12.30, I guess. Isn't there a featured location in Snap tonight? I don't see one. Machine World? Why isn't it on the subreddit? Oh, here it is, new featured location. Machine world, when you play a card here, add a copy to the opponent's hand. Oh, that's appropriate given what we're doing right now. Um, do we Theotar? I've got some bad cards to give away, right? It's not bad. Could do this and uh, destroy that, I guess, draw a card. Feels a little early though. <laughs> Theotar's hard to actually time well. Galvangar's good, yeah, it's, that's scary later. Honestly, sure, take the coin. I don't really care about it. All right, maybe we go ahead and buff him up just so he takes good trades on board, right? That's nice. All right. If there's any mercy in the world, I will draw seven consecutive bombs, even though there's only five in my deck. Yeah, we can wait for turn 30 for this guy again if you want. Last time he got ripped out, remember we didn't get to, but sure, why not? That sounds fun. That's kind of a pain to deal with, but also not at all threatening yet, I guess. I mean, actually just as threatening as anything else. <laughs> they take it back. Okay. A couple bombs here and there is totally, totally fine. It does let me draw a card, which isn't always actually a good thing though. Because I may have to play something I don't want to play here. Oh, that actually makes the prayer a little easier to weave in, I guess. Feel a little less bad about this now. So that I don't burn. But yeah, drawing a few bombs here and there is actually great. That's exactly what we want if we want to win. Do we want to win? Yeah, I don't know if we want to win, but that's fine. Um, I actually don't really answer this board very well. Uh, I'm going to need to respond to this soon don't currently have a board wipe and they're gonna have five minions out i mean you can easily make that four i guess whoa denathry is cool oh hyper blaster definitely helps though that's good news all right i mean do i play this just for removal now or do i uh want to make sure i draw a card i mean do we really care yet no we don't care yet we're fine if that gets another minion, aren't we? They can just hyper blast it again. Should be okay for now. It's a little extra value, but remember, it's really summoning one ones. <laughs> if you want to think about it that way, I mean, obviously not exactly when I have minions on board, but it's kind of summoning one ones. So it's really not that big of a deal. Another taunt is annoying though. That's gonna stall me out here a little bit on the kill again. Bash, okay. Oh, that is actually worse than a 1-1 one -one for the record. Very hard to kill. Oh, hey, that's nice together. Yeah, let's do this then, it's fine. We draw here, so I need to play something. Probably just a priest is fine. Oh no, we don't draw here, Never mind. We don't take damage, just kidding. Tempo this should be okay. Be All right. 
Yeah, it's a big morose. I like it, dude. Yeah, I, think, I like the way you're thinking about it. Yes, it's basically a big morose. When you think about it that way, it's far less intimidating, isn't it? I may have to play this, guys. Getting to the 30-30 here is a little greedy. Just a tad greedy. Definitely too early for Anduin. I don't know, man. It doesn't feel like time yet, though. Gonna need a removal soon, though, dude. We don't really have good wide board removal right now. Or any form, I guess. Uh, Anduin is the only one, and that is definitely not a card I want to play yet. I want to farm my hero power far more. Now, that said, you know, if it's just these three threats, then we're fine. It's not a big deal, but... At some point, I will need to turn the corner here. Uh... Yeah, I, I think it's time for this. Problem is, I don't really... No, it's not time yet. <laughs> I take it back. Not yet. Not yet. We'll wait one more turn. This thing has been on board for 17 turns. All I have to do to kill it is play this glory chaser. And I just refuse. I absolutely will not kill it. I'm just refusing. Just no rush at all, right? No rush at all. Until they make me do something, we don't have to do anything. Excavated evil is kind of intriguing. Still not really perfect, though. Maybe it's fine, though. I don't mind giving them one card, do I? I don't think so. Sadly, our, our glory chaser clear is gone. This dies to so many things, like who cares? I'm not going to use my weapon on it yet. Might be easy to kill that with a small minion later or something shadow badness play sort of thing again just no rush no rush draw me a few bombs please three or four would be great only one ah uh, yeah plague kills that very often that's nice i mean if it misses here am i crying no not really not really okay. like i said Am I crying? No, it's fine. <laughs> it's annoying, but it's fine. And no, I don't want to use the weapon to make it more likely. This is not the right target either. That's the whole point. I'm not crying, so why bother? We'll get it eventually. Uh, this is actually a good time to play another card. Maybe wave. Protect this body a little more. And so that if it does die, I'm not burning. I think I need real cards still at this stage. This place is scary. Okay. Leads up 25 damage. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Heavy armor stuff, right? By the way, isn't it uh, like we have a crystal gem has been complete garbage for us. Have you guys noticed that? We have basically done absolutely nothing with crystal gem. I feel like complete and utter garbage. Honestly, eh, do we go here? Yeah, what's the hurry? What's the hurry? It might be better to heal that so that the 5-4 doesn't hit it. Oh, I, oh I'm going to burn a card. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Maybe I do go. I mean, that's probably going to burn cards if I go as well, but... Ooh, that's a fun weapon. Burn a bomb. Burn a bomb, baby. Burn a bomb. Not the sun well. That's fine, too. Consider this your greatest test. That's fine, too. Okay, dude, uh, honestly, I'm gonna say, dude, I, I think this needs to go away. This is the stupidest play pattern in the universe. Like, it, it's true that my opponent's decks are specifically being punished for it because they're playing these, like, greedy, slow decks and stuff. So, like, yeah, it's partly on them, I guess, but it's so stupid, dude. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, it's so stupid. And these are, like, three or four bombs here. I'm, I'm getting a little too many. It's kind of making me nervous, honestly. A little too many, I think. Mm. Dang, I actually might have to heal here. I don't know, dude. Four minions left and bombs. Like, there's... Dang, I don't know. I was going to Apotheosis, but I don't know if I can trust that. No, I need to heal. If I'm leaving this many minions out. I regret this line, though, because I'm unlikely to get a playable card. Oh, never mind. Playable card, but not a very good one. If I'd known I was going to get that, I certainly wouldn't have played the other dude. Oh, that's finally good removal, though. Nice. Worth it. Worth it in the end. Absolutely worth it in the end. I mean, I'm sure they'll trade in a little here, but still worth it. Maybe not worth it, but there's never a great turn for that pair in this deck. 
So we can actually silence off the second half of the Colossus now. Finally clean this up. Deny their threats. Psychic again is totally cool. Love that. And the patience. Oh, I can't. I can't. Never mind. Take it back. Scratch that. We'll wait. Next turn it is. <laughs> Once again, the patience pays off. Uh... <laughs> it's getting there guys 18 18 dude <laughs> oh geez it's turn 18 and they have 24 cards left so definitely not a good fatigue pace here uh not what we're looking for for fatigue unfortunately gonna need them to draw a million more cards oh that is actually pretty dang scary Shoot. Shoot, guys. That's not good. That's a lot of board. Uh, dang. Shadow Madness. But I don't have a way to draw it right now. Oh, I do actually have a way to draw it, but I have to play the henchman into the weapon. Ah, oh, dang. Well, that's not something I want. Oh, I can destroy the weapon! Okay, that's worth it. Probably still gonna die to Brawl or whatever. Shield Slam, frankly, is big enough, of course, but uh, still probably worth it. And this way I get to remove some Boom Bots, which is nice, because those are scary, hitting me in the face. Mm, better to live on board, right? Nice. Good little Boom Bot chain. He lives! Okay, I am completely out of cards though, guys. I need to actually start healing. I need to take enough damage to heal a little. But thankfully we reduced the lethal threat of the uh, boom bots. There's the chilled slam, of course. Boom bots aren't as scary anymore. Oh, that's a good turn though, man. Two extra damage there is really big for them, but I will get to draw a card now. This is good. Hopefully I'll take five bombs and die. Oh, maybe. Maybe there's mercy in this universe after all. Is there any mercy in this universe after all? No bombs. <laughs> uh, okay. Celine here is fine. To silence the poison guy so she lives, I guess. All right. I mean, they are only at 85, but they have enough cards where they're only going to take three fatigue turns right now. Oh, and that's shuffling even more into the deck. Oh, this is just misery on Earth, dude. I, I don't just miserable I cannot I cannot escape this duels run <sighs> I want to go home oh there's something you hold apotheosis for not really but I, I mean I don't also don't know what to use it for either I guess uh, this seems pretty good actually though because this is interesting. I mean, it's just a heal, right? So in a pinch, I feel like if I ever need a heal later and I have a minion, I mean, maybe it's good. I don't know. Put it on a taunt or something. Yeah, I said I couldn't upload a five-hour VOD. Yeah, it'll be six. Yep. Well, it's not even the VOD. The, the video. VOD is fine. I can upload a five-hour VOD, I guess. But the video itself. Well, I guess to some people that sounds like the same thing. But that's me being anal. Uh, Frozen buckler only. Okay. Ironclad, huh? Guess we're just gonna make this big boy big and hope to hit some. I don't know. Maybe it does enough. Who knows? Maybe that seven damage matters. A little susceptible to brawl. A little susceptible to um, crab guy. Wand. I don't know. 16 bombs? Dang, that's actually a lot out of 29 cards. I might need to Benedictus to, to negate the uh, streak potential, huh? I'm not really drawing any is the problem. Yeah, I better do it. I think we ought to. <sighs> it's going to make my draws worse, but at least it doesn't... Like, 16 bombs... I mean, what's the odds of hitting 10 straight, though, still? It's so incredibly minimal at 50-50. No, we're fine. We'll wait another turn or two. I want some more of my cards. I need some more of my cards. We're fine. 10 straight. I mean, even if they hit me, like, 8 straight, you know, they hit a couple times or something, 8 straight is, is basically zero, right? Functionally zero. You're talking about 0.5 to the eighth power. 
It actually gets worse as you draw bombs. It gets gets 0.5 times 0 0.48, 0 0.46 or whatever, you know. Continually gets worse. Um, oh, we don't actually care about Rokara though, do we? Like, does that ever actually matter? I mean, some of the damage late, if they get in a scenario where they don't have any bombs, I certainly don't care about the other cards, so maybe we're fine. Kind of plays into brawl a little bit. Maybe we don't don't do anything there. <clears throat> All right, I need them to play a 75-75 minion, and then I can just Rokara them in the face. Like they they've also had one of those dudes, you know, one of those taunt guys. What's his name? I don't know his name. What's his idiot name? I don't know his name, but you know the guy. They've had him and. Uh, they're going to play him as a 75-75 somehow. I don't know how they got that big, but he got that big and they're going to play him and I'm going to... Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, this is really negating the bomb risk. That's great. Oh, Shadowward Void's great. Uh, mm, I can play a Scrapsmith. That doesn't really empty my hand any. Play an Ironclad <laughs> for hand space here to heal. Yeah, I lose a Voidling, but we don't care about that at all. Oh, I forgot that heals me. Oh, that's fine too then. I was trying to make space to draw a card, but it's okay. The goal was still achieved, right? Forgot about our dude, Priesty Boy, healing us. So we're at 63, by the way. Like, that's not a ton of damage, but we're just still not anywhere close to fatigue being a win condition. Is the issue. Big Boy's gonna win. I feel it. I feel it. I know it. He's the first out, right? He's the first one out. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent news. Guys, this is going to be a tie. I, I, it's just going to. It's just going to be a tie. I don't see a world where this isn't a tie. Like, here's another card for them to get in fatigue, you know? Another resource for them. There's no way this is not a tie. Oh, I forgot to heal. Oh, crap. Ah, crap. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. I forgot to heal. Uh-oh. It's fine. I mean, it's actually literally fine, but maybe maybe we'll take seven straight in some miracle scenario. There's shield chatter. Okay. Actually, now it's only six straight. A little, little, more, little more possible. I would love to take three or four, honestly. Just get through some of them. One. One. Are you kidding me? One. One freaking bomb. Oh, more. Ugh. <sighs> Time for Benedictus. We're getting close to 50-50. Maybe. Ugh. I don't know, man. It's whatever. <sighs> God, like, what's in their deck? I don't know how bad it's going to be, but... I mean, if we're going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, it should be on average about the same, right? <laughs> so, plus I can draw cards more reliably, I think. Yeah, the second where your cards go not green, yeah, it is really, really scary, yeah. What happens if you reach the turn limit? You, trust me, we know, because it just happened. You, <laughs> you just get a tie and you don't get a loss or a win. I don't think we got a win anyway, right? It didn't seem like we did. Oh, they got a wand. Wow, that's kind of amazing. Don't need the shard if they got a wand, right? So that's fine. Ooh, Sunwell. That's fun. Do I prefer a card or do I prefer a uh, minion? I think I prefer a card, actually. Bombs are good. A couple of these would actually let me get both. That'd be awesome. Yeah, keep going. One more, one more, one more. One more! Sure, we'll play two of these. We don't mind losing one. That's fine. Uh, Seven, okay. Seven's okay. We have way less like good hit bombs. Yeah, seven's fine. Okay. Guys, I gotta pee again. I drank a whole thing of water. I drank Mountain Dews. I, you know, this, <laughs> I'm using the caffeine to fuel myself. Uh, every game is so long. <sighs> okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, I like that. It's fun. It's good for me. Uh, Zyrella. Okay. 
Well, chip damage. Well, you know, that's not bad. They're getting light on resources. We might actually be able to stick a little board here and start whacking them, you know? Again, if they play a big thing, Rokara actually becomes a nice lethal threat, I think. Oh, yeah, we're going to get to hit again, it looks like, maybe, dude. An extra nine damage is nothing to scoff at here by any stretch. Armor vendor doesn't really help me, though. Damage? Um, that's a fatigue advantage, I guess. It's kind of neat in theory. I don't know. There might be some reason to hold these, but I don't know. Just thinking about hand, sp hand spacing. Could save this for later, perhaps, for some uh, mill action, for some burst damage. We're at 56. I have Rokara for damage. I have Naturalize for damage. I can still maybe Anduin, but that's not often too much better than Rokara. But of course, Rokara and Anduin are both really risky because we lose our hero power heal. All right, we're going to get hit for eight here again. That's not nothing. I will maintain that's not nothing. Bombs now actually hurt a little worse with armor up, but Ironclad's good with armor up. Okay. Interesting. I do not think this is a like wand turn yet, although I think it's worth discussing because we don't know how many big boards are going to get anymore and protecting this one could enable me to get even more chip damage, which could really matter in a fatigue scenario later. That said, man, they've got to draw cards to get into fatigue because currently, you know, this ain't doing it. But if they don't draw cards, we might just be able to win on board enough that we, we gain an advantage anyway, right? And I can advance this at least a little with the naturalize, although not much, to be fair. Now this really starts to look like a wand. Oh, really looks to start looks starts to look like a wand. Okay. Absolutely the wand turn. They're out of resources. Don't have a lot of threats in the deck anyway. 100% a wand and push. We get a hit for 10, which is really big. It's fine. Good bombs. That's great. We want to eat some bombs. Perfect timing for bombs. This is a great turn for us. They're actually almost down to their base health total, man. It's kind of nice. Why don't I play Anduin? Because the hero power I have now keeps me alive forever. Because uh, I restore three health, I only take one damage at a time. So this this is a 15 health heal right now against bombs. Two mana heal 15. Anduin is, is a two mana deal two. So this is a net 13 advantage. Now that's it. There may be a point late in the game where shifting to Anduin makes sense if we think we're in like a lethal position. I love them drawing cards, by the way. Please do more of that. That is a really big advantage for us if they draw cards. We really, really like to see that. I think this is kind of free to play. I mean, I guess there are moments later we might need that though. Let's hold. Let's hold. I hope they hit the 1-3 here and draw another card. Now we're at uh, turn 34 and 9 cards left in deck. Um, that puts them at turn... Oh, man, that's still turn 43, though. Even with Naturalize, that's turn 41. That's only lining up to be about 9 fatigue damage. But, you know, again, hopefully they draw more and advance that. We kind of need them drawing 3 or 4 cards here. Hey, Snow Spots, dude, thanks to the Prime sub. How did I manage to do two YouTube videos about the, exp about the expansion without yelling, I told you so? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like it was a big surprise. Like, kind of everybody had the same theories, you know? It was nothing about me in particular that, that nailed the theories. Like, yes, I also got them right, but a ton of people did. So. Mm -hmm. uh, being a beast read, just keeping at this massive run. Oh, thanks, no spots, man. The, the, honestly, the prime subs do help. <laughs> Make me feel like it's worth the time. So that's nice of you, dude. Appreciate it a lot. Uh, heavy plate trade. Okay. Uh, oh boy, those are big. I was going to ask if this is worth the naturalize. I wasn't sure, but now it might be worth the shadow word ruin, I think. Oh, here comes Mrs. Kilburn. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were on your way. <laughs> I swear to God, listen to me. We are five and a half hours into this. Give me a high five. <laughs> told everybody you were gonna be mad <laughs> i can't I, I won't every game takes a hundred years this is the worst night of my life i'm dying i'm dying he's yeah come bring a stack and sit with me yeah that sounds great they said hey mrs gilman is you here they love you they're saying thank you for letting us have regis you said hello in chat oh i didn't see it 
Hey, obligatory dork. Thanks for the prime sub, man. She's talking in chat and you guys missed it. Let her play. I don't know if she could mess it up from here, honestly. <laughs> She's never played in her life, but a little hard to lose, maybe. Or at least, you know, lose the tie. So now they're at seven and we're on turn 35. Heavy plate to get another bomb. I mean, 39 is not a lot of life, but I need more. I need more. It might soon be time to go for the Anduin, honestly. We gotta start thinking about it. Uh, yeah, bombs are actually good draws for us, remember? It's fine. I must know more. Okay. Hey, DG, dude, thanks for the nine month sub. Amazing. Uh, Baroth clear is annoying. We're losing our damage output there. <sighs> okay. Oh, uh, dude, I gotta ask is it time? Like, is it time? They only have eight cards left. Can they deal enough damage? I have healing potion. I have armor gain. I mean, there is a lot of bombs left though, man. I don't think it's time yet, guys. There's too many bombs left. I'm gonna play this as bait so they draw a card. I really want them drawing cards. <laughs> 20 real cards, the rest are bombs. Okay, that makes sense. That tracks. Okay, they're drawing another card. That's great news. Surprised how much they're drawing. I don't know if they know that fatigue is my win condition, but I love it. Oh, they're drawing another card. Yes. Oh, that's such good news. Okay, that's such good news. So we have like eight turns of fatigue here. That might be enough, honestly. Let's see. Because between that and Rokara and stuff, like once they're out of cards, I have so many ways to potentially win. Bomb again. Bomb again. That's all great. Veteran's Horn. Oh, man. I don't have any minions, though. Is this the best target? Probably. I guess I could just use this, but... Okay. Oh, you're not eating the tart? The kiwi and crackers. Sounds like the name of like a dog food brand. Kiwi and crackers. <laughs> or like a pet store brand. Okay, a 5-5 five, five and a 5-5. Five, five. Plague of Death here seems pretty reasonable, right? Snowden, nothing's damaged. Psychic Stream we definitely don't want. I think we go Plague. Surely they don't have two more threats. Right? So if they don't have any more minions, we can safely Rokara, maybe. Although, maybe not, because there's still a lot of bombs. We gotta time it well. We gotta time it well. Okay, they didn't do anything. I'm hoping they have more minions in deck. They should, because we've seen quite a few out of their deck. How many bombs are left, guys? Oh, that's actually really nice damage. I think we play the minion first, though, because it's repeating damage. Let's go ahead and buff it too. I don't know how many more we're gonna get, but this might keep it alive against certain kinds of removal, shield slams and stuff. Okay, I think we're actually gonna win this again. 16 bombs still? Oh my God, man. I mean, I, I, I could easily see us drawing five or six in a row, but that's not lethal, thankfully. Oh, the wand we forgot about. Dang, the wand is good. Ugh. Guys, I'm gonna pee my pants again. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. Kelvin <laughs> looked at the ground as if, as if I really peed my pants. <laughs> like she checked the ground. <laughs> Who do you think I am that I'd actually pee my pants? Oh my god, she like looked over like, <laughs> like concerned. Oh my god, you think I'm a monster, don't you? So two cards left. I mean, we don't know what they are, but am I safe to go for a Rokara soon? You guys said sixteen bombs. We've got eight turns left. Aren't they just losing to fatigue always at this rate? I feel like we're locked up here. They, they drew so many. Oh, <laughs> this is 30. This is game. Oh my God. Yes. That's 30 and they're at uh, 33 and then they take four fatigue. Yes. Mrs. Kelvin's excited because she thinks the stream is over, but little does she know that means it continues. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> I gotta pee guys. I gotta pee, but this is beautiful. We are six hours into a single duels run. A single duels run. Oh my god, dude. Take that fatigue, bro. There we go. Okay, I, guys, I'll be right back. I'll be right. Hope to god we get a quick game that ends our life soon. Please. Oh, Mrs. Kilburn's eating her kiwi. <laughs> Cleaning up the pee on the floor. I didn't make it. <laughs> I didn't make it to the... <laughs> Vampiric Fangs is really good for us. Yeah. Healing and so on. And no, that's good. Nine wins with this deck, guys. Again, I want you to see this. A 37-minute, 42-turn game. We've had 42 turns. Mrs. Kilman, we went so long. The game has a limit. It, it arbitrarily ends the game if nobody's won and you get a tie. Nobody won after 46 minutes, so we just got a tie and had to start again. <laughs> this is a funny face. Oh, it's an aggro deck. Thank God we might lose. Okay. Our suffering might finally be over. And then you got to go down to Susie to snack with me. All right, palm read theater is not good against an aggro deck, right? Um, let's take palm reading for removal. Apotheosis will be too slow, too. <sighs> Pretty good anti aggro hand, honestly. Don't forget we have crystal gem, we never use it, but we can actually play a turn one scarlet crusader. Ladle recycling, okay, they're gonna kill us for sure. Our suffering is finally at an end. Uh, I think we go crusader into conscience, right? Like they can hit the front half. I mean, I guess they. No, they can't kill it. Never mind. No, that's good. Yeah, this will help us get the board early. Uh, won't hold it for long, but it'll hold it for a little while. And then hopefully we can catch up on the psychic into the henchman too. The hard part about this matchup in particular is that um, we got to get through like an early swarm board, right? But then also they reload a lot with cookies ladle. So there's honestly like no reprieve. There's no moment where it's like, oh, finally we stabilize and we win, you know? It doesn't get easier over time in essence. It actually gets kind of harder over time. But henchman's good, psychic's good. Palm reading's probably worth it next turn to start advancing the gift sooner. Plague it might be important if we can get that far. They left me the good crusader trade. That is not such a good trade, unfortunately. Hmm. Hit here is not good either. I think I might just hit that though, guys, honestly. <sighs> hate that it's not a value trade i mean if i could get like a holy smite or something off this we'd be over the moon but i just don't want that getting wind fury and then like melting the rest of my board later you know Join. i think we i think we take this i don't know i just don't see because if they wind fury this it just eats both next turn anyway like it's i don't i mean it, god if we hit the right target off this it's amazing but I think we have to eat it, and I think we actually have to play the henchman. I just don't think I can fall too far behind. Be quick. It's It sucks, but, it, you know, we, we need to be in a decent spot in the mid game so that I can start to recover off better plays. I mean, this is eight mana. That's too far along, but an evil, you know, um, maybe like a six mana psychic stream if we could find one, a well-placed shadow madness. There's a few things that keep me in it, so... Yes, Soul Jazz. I cannot believe that the Sunwell Priest has gone for six hours. <laughs> I am never picking Heavy Armor ever again in all of my days. Not ever. Never ever again. I cannot do this again. Not ever ever. Okay, not Poisonous, I guess. Not Plus Attack, I guess. Plants actually kind of suck for me too, because it's a lot of bodies against my my stuff but i guess psychic's not too bad here honestly though hilt plus gift is pretty cool um hero power as well i suppose that means we can start here shadow essence Ooh, whispers of the deep uh on a ooze would be good oh thank you mrs kilman that's nice i guess this gets us a three thingy it's not bad but whispers is gonna be better overall um Probably gonna use that next turn though, right? Oh, the gift here is actually not that good, is it? Once again, I actually have to hit this to respect the hero power, I think. Um, so the question is, do I silence it first to try to snipe a 1-1? One -one? No. I think I gotta respect the... Well, the hero power is not that scary here though. So let's it value trade. Oh my god, why is this so hard? Why is this so hard? 
I don't know why this is so hard, but it is. I think I gotta trade straight, guys. I, I just, I worry too much about the hero power killing me, right? Uh, cause it's not that it kills me, cause obviously it hits the same as a 1-1, but it's that it, it kills any future minions that I play is the issue. Like, I can't ever stick a minion if they're divine shielding a 5-4 and trading down, you know? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Well, this is a fixed amount of damage now, though. I'm one off being dead, though. Oh my god, bro. Stop that. I mean, this hits me for 7. Make sure I'm at 3. I can heal back to 9 again. Like, I'm wondering if I can stall into the plague of death here. <clears throat> can I actually make it to plague of death? Do they have any, like, weapon damage or... Uh, like spell damage, not usually in this sort of deck. But yeah, eight with Wind Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight with Wind Fury. Yeah. So they need like one. I need like what a uh, psychic, not a psychic stream. Well, that'd be fine. But uh, excavated evil, I guess. Orgle is really tough though. Blood Moon. Jeez, they're harder to kill now too. Dang. Sunwell's gonna be too late. So now it's actually nine damage because they can win fury a second one. I actually have to clear something here. Oh, hyper blaster's perfect. Actually perfect. Wait, I'm at eight. Is that enough though? Hold up. They have six, seven. Oh, it's not enough. I'm dead. Oh, I'm still dead. Oh, thank God. I'm still dead. Oh, I'm still dead. Thank God. Okay. They just win fury and I'm dead. Oh, sweet Jesus. Thank you. It's finally time. <laughs> God, please spot it. Thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, it feels like some of those turns were, um, I don't know. Like, could I hit a 1-1? I just feel like it was going to be worse always. It just snowballed worse. So I'm, I'm fine with it. If it was wrong, it was a sweet mercy and a sweet, sweet end to my suffering and misery. Five hours and 55 minutes later, the duels run is done. Oh, what an anticlimactic and boring ending, but at least it's over. At least it's over. I better get like a triple legendary pack for that, man. Please. Please. Of course. Oh, we did get incriminating psychic. How fitting. Oh my God, guys. I gotta go.